Ashley says a man's excuses just don't add up. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, what's going on? I'm here because I'm 18. I just had my second kid eight weeks ago. Wow, 18 and two children? Yeah. yeah. So what's going on other than obviously having to raise children? Four days after I had our son. Yes. He came home from a concert. Yes. Without his ring on. Oh. Oh. Stayed in a hotel eight and a half hours late. Oh. So now when he finally does come home, you notice that the ring's off. Yeah. Was it just off or he really lost it? No, it's gone. Oh. And what, what, what did he say? He said he doesn't remember anything. I noticed because on Instagram, I was going through Instagram and yeah. I noticed a pre-gaming video of, and my friend Nikki just so happened to be in the background. Oh. So you see on his phone that he's, he's with these other people and one of them is your friend. And he said he doesn't remember staying in the hotel, going to the hotel, or her even being there. He just remembers waking up. Oh, waking up in a hotel. Okay. And then, so that's his excuse. You don't believe that? No. No. Have you spoken to her? I tried. I've tried confronting her. Yeah. He, every time I try to do it in per person, yeah. she will ignore the whole conversation. Like, she'll totally change the subject. Oh, so she doesn't even want to talk about it. Has he cheated on you before? I mean, is this a constant problem? No, this was our first problem. Oh. This was our first major problem together. Yeah. Well, there's a chance he's innocent, right? I mean, if he, has, if he hasn't done stuff like this before. I there admit. is, there is, but I don't know. There's, there's absolutely no reason as to why that ring should have came off. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Unless he lost a lot of weight during those eight hours and he's just kind of, yeah. Uh, well, here is that other woman. Here's Nikki. Why were you in his Instagram video? Um, because I was pre-gaming with him. I'm 18. I want to have fun. I'm going to do what I want. Did you take his, ins did you take his ring off? Yep. Took his ring off. Oh. Let him Okay, I understand you're 18 and you want to have a good time, etc. But if you know the guy's married, why not with all the single guys around in the world? Why would you just do that with him? It was an in-the-moment thing. Oh. And there's still no reason as to why you should sleep with somebody who has two kids. I don't care. <laughs> and you two know each other. We were friends, or so it thought. And you didn't feel a little bit badly? Did you say to him, hey, wait a second, you got kids, what are you doing? Because you kind of knew once you did that, you'd be in the middle of all this. Yeah, no, it was a kind of in-the-moment thing. If, yeah. If doing your man is what makes me happy, that's what I'm going to do. Do you want to be with her husband? No. No, it was just a, as you said, in a moment thing. Here he is. Here's Christian. Why? Why would you sleep with somebody so skanky? Okay. Because you aren't doing anything for me. I know I don't do anything for you. I cook for you. I clean for you. I do your laundry. I take care of both your kids. I work at a strip club to make sure you have what you need. In our oh, you just bust your ass to do what needs to be done to get and take You're care lazy. of. You're lazy. You don't have a job. Oh, I don't have a job because I just finished school not even two weeks ago. Okay. There's two weeks in between Did you that. have time to change? Oh. Uh, oh. Well, you see, you can't get your license in two weeks. There's a processing time, and you knew that. I had told you, you I had a time. Home. You could have went right back to work where you were. I didn't go to school to get an education, just that way I can watch the rest of my to life. Be lazy. No, I don't even want to hear that. I've done everything for you. Like what? I have cheated on me with Nikki. 
Well, that's one of them. Yep. <laughs> I've taken you everywhere you've wanted to go. Like, I took you to IHOP the other day whenever we went to the zoo. But you paid for her, too. And? So it wasn't just an us thing. Okay, I took you to the zoo because you wanted to go. But you went to see the snakes with her. And? Oh, okay. it's not the only snake she saw. Yeah. Anyway, you're going to stay here. You're going to stay here and not do anything. And I'm because like, well, why can't I have fun with my friends? It's not my fault that my friends want me to go out and have fun with them, whereas your friends don't even ask you to go do stuff. So how is that my fault? Because I put my kids first. I stay at home. Okay, well, then okay. tell me this. I buy my kids everything they need. How? You don't have a job. Oh, because you just started, right? No, did I mention I tried dancing one time, taking my clothes off for people I didn't know to make money? To but, support him, pay our but, bills, and take care of our kids, and he's sitting at home playing a video game. But didn't aren't you the one that uh, mentioned that you were the one that wanted to do it? Because it's money. And actually, a mom, a mom is going to do everything she has to to make sure her kids have everything they need. Okay, you know what? Okay. I have a question. Man. How am I going to be? At Why home? don't you have a job? Seriously. Because I see, I just finished school. Like I said. Yeah. I went to x-ray school. I spent all this money to go so I can get an education, so I can make better money, yeah. so I can get my family everything that they want and need. Yeah. I go... So you're trying to get a job now? Yes. Okay. Why you chose him to sleep with? It just kind of happened in the moment. We were having fun. I mean, Things don't just happen. Was there anyone else at the concert? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a married guy. <laughs> what do you want to say to her? I mean, that was just a one-time thing. I mean, we were drinking that night, and we were having fun, and honestly, I don't know if I would do it again. I might. <laughs> Seriously. When you say something like that, how do you think the marriage ever is going to be saved? When you're even saying, hey, I might cheat again. Because that's how unhappy she makes me. She makes me feel unappreciated. She doesn't ever tell me thank you for anything I've ever done for her. She's never congratulated me on anything. She's never got me anything for no reason. Like, okay, my birthday comes around. I don't get anything. I Her bought birthday. you a TV. No, 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 no. I bought you a TV With my this own year. money that no, I worked for. I was working at McDonald's. No, I was no, working at McDonald's no, and I just got it. No, cashed you were not. Check. No, you were yes, not. Yes, I was. Everything that we have is because I have worked my ass off to get it. With I busted tax? my ass. I pulled 80-hour weeks just to get everything that you wanted and my kids wanted. And yet, I never hear a... Thanks, babe. You do so good. I'm glad that you're working. You know, I don't ever hear any of that. Or, you know, you're actually a really good dad. Because you don't do anything. You don't take the trash out. You don't help me do the dishes. I ask you to watch our son while I go to the laundromat and wash your clothes. No, take him with you because I don't want to watch him. No. Really? Yeah. If that's true, that's... No, no I've, I've done that a couple times. I'm not going to lie. I've done that a couple yeah. of times. But no, that is not true. I've done everything that I could possibly do as a Do you want to be with her? Do you want to be married I do, to her? I do. But sometimes she makes me feel like I don't. She makes me feel like I'm unappreciated. I mean, I can be hanging out with my friends. We can be having a cookout over at my house. And she's over here calling me a, a deadbeat dad in front of my friends. And Whatever. then she starts throwing fits in front of them. Throwing no, fits I go to for my no room. reason. No, you go to your room, and then whenever I go and try and talk to you to see what's wrong, you just say, mm, "Well, get away from me! I don't want to talk to you." So how is that going to make anything better between because us? When you're no, stop. Let me talk this time. I let you talk. You got plenty of time to talk. Now you're going to stop and let me. You don't tell no. me what to do. No, yeah. Yeah. no, you don't. Yeah. See exactly. Everything has to did be you... how you want it when you want it. Did Did you have me? Am Are you my father? <laughs> You have called me that. But you're not my father. Okay. So you can't okay. tell me what to do. Are you guys okay. going to stay together? No. Come on, slow it down a little bit. Clap with me. Okay, let's get it.
Keep my feet up on that marble. Champagne with our garden. Big bills in my car goes. Your pockets tight, Aeropostco. My pockets big like precious. VVs on my necklace. Everything so precious. I swear, dude, so extra. Talk down when you not around. Smile hard when I play it cool when you back around. So I do me. Stack paper, no loose leaf. Round around with that two leaf. Live life like a movie. Let's get it. For the rapper, um, since you're trying to play both those young ladies, won't you marry them and then they can be sister wives? If I was in Africa, I would. Whatever. This comment is for the husband and the hoary mistress. Um, when you guys are having sex, who's doing who? Because you have the body of a woman and you have the body of a man. <laughs> for the girl in the floral dress. Um, do his kids look like Andy Milanakis too? No, actually I have really pretty kids. This is for the girl in the end in the floral dress and Nikki fighting over that guy in the gray shirt. Why y'all fighting over him? He keeps saying he's working his ass off, but he showed it plenty on stage. <laughs> getting that kind of stuff why don't you get with the, the girl on the end in the short skirt that says she likes to have threesomes i mean come on my comment is for the girl in the burgundy dress you need to instead of taking her man you need to take and butt and keep it for yourself The greatest show ever. Yeah! Jerry Springer. is for the girl in the black shirt. Where you get your bundles from so I know not to order from that one. You wish you could get some of these bundles. You wish. Sit your old ass down. Okay. Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back. Crazy then why should he still be with her? So he came then to see you. Do you like him? Do you want to be with him? I don't know yet. Oh. So it's still a possibility, you're saying? Yeah. But you have a boyfriend that you're not happy with? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So who's Jared? Jared is your boyfriend, My the boyfriend, one who's... Yeah. A, yeah. And you're saying maybe you want to be with him, but you're saying you do want to be with him, but you don't like him I cheating. don't want to be with him. Oh, you don't? Not anymore, no. Not anymore. Now that you know it's true. Well, here he is. I'll let you talk to him. Here's Jared. screaming at me and hitting on me and beating me up. I mean, I had to have a release from somewhere. That, that could be a factor. <laughs> do, uh, do you want to be with her? No. No, you don't want to? Okay. Well, talk to her. Because uh, apparently you... I'm sorry, you it was her. just a one-time thing. I mean... Mm, that's I why you're still texting me afterwards saying that you missed me, huh? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Whatever. You know you still want me. No. Obviously you don't. Mm. But he doesn't want you. He wouldn't have cheated on you if he did. I actually want to be with her. That was just mm. you're on the side. So, so you're saying you do want to be with her? Yes, I do. I'm just tired of fighting with her, but I mean... You're tired of the fighting, yes. but you would like it to exactly. work out. Exactly. What do you guys fight over? Crazy things. Him lying I mean. to me all the time. Him hiding. She digs on my phone, Jerry. I mean, I can't even have friends on Facebook. Can't talk to other girls. I mean, if I walk in the store 
and see a girl or say hi to him, she goes ballistic on me and starts screaming, yelling at me, hitting me. I mean, but if you did, you text her and say, "I miss you." Yes, Obviously, if your I girlfriend did. sees that, why isn't she going to get upset? She has all right to. Yeah. So, who is Nico? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Okay, here's Nico. what you want to do? I should have known that something was up. You've yeah, been acting you funny. You've been acting different. How? Do know. How? Because you you said yourself I was acting funny. You should have known something was well, up. You could have said something if you, you don't care happy. enough to talk to This is not what you've had to, to do. Me. Like really, him? Look at him. He's a hick. So, I think he's do? cute. You couldn't have said anything. Mm. You didn't say nothing was wrong. You didn't ask. I shouldn't have to ask. You should say so. Mm. You're always sleeping or on your game. So how are you gonna have the time to? I do what things. I'm supposed to do whenever I'm awake. I sleep when I have to. Yeah, but you're always sleeping during the daytime when the baby's awake. And I'm always up at, at night yeah, and in the morning with the baby. Yeah, huh? What about you when you're sleeping? What do you do? And then when you get up, what do you want to do? You want to argue mm. about what I have and haven't done. Well, you should have done the things you haven't done. Really? Yes. Like what? Well, First off, I take care of her. I get up in the morning with her. I change her diaper. I give her a bath. I feed her. I get her ready for the day all while you're sleeping. Yeah, you buy her diapers and wipes, but materialistic things don't matter. Hmm. And I'm the one who did it. I buy wipes. I buy everything. I take her from you. I try to keep her to give you free time to yourself so you can relax and you but don't I even appreciate that. But I also give you your free time and I take her to all her appointments. You shouldn't give her too much free time. You see what she does. I see. Well, if you weren't so crazy, then he wouldn't cheat. Oh. Yes. Well, well yes. then why is he still your boyfriend? Well, I genuinely, I really do love him, you know? Yeah. like. We don't have a son together, but me and him had met through my work. I was working at a car wash, yes. and I was two months pregnant. Oh. And I wasn't showing, so, you know, I could have been like half of these females around, you know, and just yeah. let it go on as long as I could and not tell him. But I decided to tell him, you know, like I'm pregnant, you know. Yeah. I understand if you don't want to step up to this responsibility and everything else. So he decided he wanted to be with me. And we've been together ever since. We've been together for about two years now. Oh, okay. So he's taking responsibility with the child? Yes, he's Good. been taking care of our son, Wonderful. doing everything he can. Like, he works. Like, I, I, I stay home, which, I mean, I do. I take care of the housely sure. duties and take care of the baby. But, I mean, he's supplying us right now. He's just telling me, you know, I don't have to work. I could just yeah. sit at home, take care of the baby, which I'm, I'm about to go to work. I want to find a job because yeah. I'm so tired of sitting at home. But, yeah. you know, he's, he's doing everything. And I'm just, I'm so insecure with myself that I'm taking it out on him. Like, I've been through so many bad relationships throughout my whole entire well, yeah. life, you know? Yeah. Like, my hasn't been here for me. So, like, yeah. I look for that attention in a man. Yes. And I'm looking in all the wrong places. Well, I met Lewis, and he's changed everything, but I just can't get everything out of my Has head. Has he given my you experience. reason to be suspicious? No. He hasn't. And that's, that's just why I'm just so upset with myself, because I know I'm going to lose him. Oh, and okay. I don't know what I'm going to tell my son if I lose him, you know? Yeah, well, why are you here? I'm here because he, he admitted it to me. He admitted to sleeping with her because we uh -oh. found out I... Oh, I, okay, well, then you have the reason thing. to be suspicious. Like, yeah. Here's the thing, okay. Like I said, I'm insecure with myself, so his friend had just recently got out of jail. We had just got into a huge fight about three weeks ago. Yeah. And his friend came to the house and asked him if he wanted to go to the club with him. My insecurities kicked in, and I kept insisting on him not going. I threw my fit. I was throwing stuff at him. Yes, I'm very ashamed. But he left anyways. So that that and, was just it for and me. And he went to the club, and he saw her yes. there? And then they... No, they didn't. They didn't meet at the club. Oh. He went to the club, and after the club, he tried to come home, and I locked him out of his house. Not our house. His house. So well, after that... <laughs> I don't know, it was later on that night, he tried to come back, beating on the door, trying to come in. Oh, baby, please let me come back. No, no, you, you can go somewhere else. Go, go stay so with somebody. So you did send him away? Yes. Well, then you can't fault. be surprised. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, you're so, surprised. he supposedly went to the neighbor's house, and little did I know that my friend was staying over there, too. Oh. Yeah, that I did not know or best believe I would open the door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lying. So 
After I found out about that, the neighbor had came and she was the one that had let me know. He didn't oh, the tell neighbor me, yes, told the neighbor, you that they where messed it happened around. At, the neighbor is the one that told me. Oh. So after that, my white head itself, I went and asked my boyfriend Lewis about it and he admitted to it. He said it did happen. Oh, okay. So I'm here today to have your help because I really want to work on my relationship with him and I would like to bring my friendship back with her, which I know that's messed up. Why, why would I want to be friends with somebody who betrayed me like that? But I mean, I just, I got a big heart, you know, that, okay, that was well, my best friend. Well, I don't it want can to work. my best friend so, or my boyfriend. So Courtney is your best friend. Yes, sir. And, and she's the one that slept with your boyfriend. So you're, yeah. But you'd like to mend ways with her. I would Has like she to. said she's sorry for what she did? No. 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 Well, she owes you an apology. Here's Courtney. <laughs> you had slept with her boyfriend once? That's what she thinks. But you didn't? No. Her oh. reaction is so different. It. I ain't got nothing to hide. I done been with him. Oh, you have been I've been with, with him before she was with him. Oh, I Why see. would I want him again? I, I, well, Lord knows. I, I, uh, exactly. Uh, I got my own man for that. Yeah. Well, let's meet your own man. Here's Lewis. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, you're controlling the land. You're controlling it. I can't but go nowhere. You, you I can't know, do nothing. We, we got a son together. Are you going to do this with a hoe? Hey, Elena, you too controlling. I can't do nothing. I can't go nowhere with no my friends, nothing. You controlling. I can't stand I'm it. I'm done with that. it. You know everything that we've been through. And you're going to go to that? Hey, Seriously. Hey, it was a one time Me thing. It was a one time thing. I could get in the door. I knocked on the door. I went out with my friend. I knocked That's on your fault. Try harder. Do something. I tried. About you it. wouldn't let me in. I went to the window. I couldn't get in. So I went to the neighbor's house. Okay. Hey, hey, it happened. I was, hey, it, it happened. Okay. Okay, but you couldn't keep your. Mm, Give him some space. Mm, let him mm, breathe. You, uh, I tried to get I, in. I, I beat on the door. Do my friend got out of jail, Jerry. I go out to have a drink with my friend. He, yes. got, he, he did six so, months in the jail. Oh, okay. I go out and have a drink with him. Yeah. I come home, I can't get in the door. Yeah, she locked she me out. She told me she locked you Okay, out, yeah. I go to the window, try to open the window, couldn't get in the window. Yeah. So where I go at? To my friend's house. Yeah, did Next you try door. the chimney? No. No, no. <laughs> no, if we had one, I would've tried that, but hey, yeah. I go to the so neighbor's house. So you go to your house. friend, you go to the neighbor's, neighbor's house. Neighbor's house, okay, she's, she's, she's at the neighbor's house. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so we talking and everything, yeah. drinking, we smoked a little something, Yeah. boom. Oh. Rough sex happened. And you know, hey, it, it, it happened, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I don't want to be with her, it just ha it happened. <laughs> Hey, what you want me to do? So you're going to do that to our son? Hey. hey. What you going to tell our son? I, I love our son. What you going to tell our son? I can't tell him nothing. I, I'm no, wrong. I'm sorry. No, that's not what I'm, I'm looking wrong. for. I'm what sorry. you going to tell our son? I love you. I love our son. But so you don't, don't want to be with her? No. no you do not I love me. I don't want to downgrade it to that. I don't want her. That's nothing. I don't want her. But it was something that night, though, right? Yeah, I couldn't get in the house. And so that means Well, you got in I need you to try harder. I, I mean, that into her house. Into her house. Let me finish the sentence. my house. I couldn't get in my house. Oh, here. Oh, here's what you want me to do? Okay. I mean, I tried. I want you to try harder, like I said. Do what? So that means go out and sleep around on Kick me? Kick the door Because in? I didn't let you in? Like, what kind of reason is that? Hey, well, when you get drinks and stuff in you and stuff happens, you know. Okay. Okay. So if I go out, okay, yeah, I'm going to go over here with Jerry and I'm going to have drinks with him. So that means something <laughs> The thing is, I go to sleep at 9 o'clock, so it would have to be early. I can't, I can't stay up that do place. Do that. That. You know, you're supposed to be my man. I have we my got a warm son, glass of and milk, and then I go friend. to sleep. How's it feel? I don't want her. It ain't gonna happen to It don't feel don't good. I tell you what, I wish I would have slept with your man. I tell you that, I wish I would. Facial expression. So what's gonna okay, so there's nothing going on here. What happened here? No, you you no. wanna be with her. Yeah, I do. I right. do, I do. And we got a son, you know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. my son, but I've been there since day one. Yeah, and that's I wanna true. make it happen. You know, I still wanna be there, you know. No. You can go over with her. 
We'll be back. This is for the lady with the glasses. Um, oh, sorry, the black and peach uh, dress. You talk about putting diapers on your baby, waking your baby up, feeding your baby, cleaning your baby. It's called being a mom. It's your first time job, just FYI. Yeah, and I'm doing it right too. I don't know. All right, um, so for my friend down here on, and yeah, you. Okay, first of all, I don't know where you're from. New York, we don't do this. This is not swag. Second of all, I don't know you how you- no swag. No, that's not true. Anyways, um, I don't know how you thought you were gonna find out if that was your over. cousin's boyfriend or not in one night. Like, it doesn't work like that, bro. And it doesn't matter. It does matter, because no, mind how your can business. you find out if that's mind your cousin's business, boyfriend cousin or not? Mind your business, cousin doesn't matter. <laughs> Two 12 year olds sitting on the stools. Shouldn't you guys be playing with Barbie dolls, not boys? I have the comment for the girl with the blonde wig. Your wig makes you look like. All right, Destiny says not all gifts are meant to be kept. Oh, Destiny, what's going on? Um, I'm here to give back a gift that was given to me. A couple of days ago. Yeah. By the guy I cheated on my boyfriend with. Oh. So you have a boyfriend, you cheated on him with this other guy, and this other guy is the one that gave you this gift. Yes. And you want to give it back? Yes. Because you feel guilty or? Because I, I don't really want, I don't. We broke up for a couple of days. You and your boyfriend, yeah. And we hooked up. And I told my boyfriend, whenever we got back together, that we just kissed, but really we hooked up. And oh, I see. Okay. He proposed to me, yeah. and I felt a little guilty. I like. I feel like if I he finds out some other way. Yeah. So you want to come clean? Look, yeah, yeah, I, I want to do it myself. Good for you. Okay. And it's it's really bad because they're cousins. Oh. oh. So you cheat on him with his cousin. And yeah. now his cousin, does he, he gave you a gift, this one you cheated with. Yeah. So he must, I guess, kind of like you, huh? Yeah. Oh, so I he's guess. maybe thinking it's more than just a hookup. Yeah, but I, I kind of want to make it clear that it's not, and that okay. I don't want him sending me any more gifts. Has he said anything to you other than giving you a gift? He, I didn't know he was going to send the gift to me. Yeah. And so... Is that what he sent? That, yeah, he the, sent me this, and it has earrings inside of it. But he told me that he wanted to get back together. And so I'm kind of here to tell him I don't want that. Okay, that's what you're going to tell him. Dalton is your boyfriend. Yes. Well, he's been watching backstage, so he knows now. Here's, here's Dalton. just a kiss yeah why why did you cheat on me with him what are these gifts what is this oh what that's, is this did he give this to you too oh these are cheaply made that's bull crap <laughs> i don't understand why would you cheat on me for over him for two days we broke up for two days and you want to cheat on me with him he's a cut he's my cousin Okay, you, we were rushing too fast. I didn't like the whole marriage thing. It scared me. Rushing? No, we weren't even rushing. We were just, I just really love you, okay? And if once you, I found out that once you love someone, you actually want to go for them. You don't want to just quit and give up. Oh. Did you have any clue that she was losing interest or? No, she didn't even tell me at all. Yeah. Are you surprised that your cousin would do something like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, like, we're family. Why would he do that to yeah. me? And he knows I'm in love with her. I mean... Well... I'm sorry, I didn't... The re like, I would have told you, but I didn't think you had taken me back. Of course I'm going to take you back. I'm in love with you. I don't care. If it would have... If it, if it would have been my friend... If it would have been someone else beside my cousin, I probably would have just forgot about it and wouldn't even cared. But honestly, I mean, since it's my cousin, of course I'm going to care. That's backstabbing me in the back. Mm. So when he comes out, he's going to get it. Yeah. Mm. All right. 
He may not want to come out now. Here's Preston. I tore it up. It'll belong to I you. I paid a lot for this. I don't want it. I don't no. want that. I don't want that. You paid Jerry. a lot for that? You should get your money back. What, five dollars? Like, he loves everyone. Got oh. catfished on Facebook twice. He loved them. Oh, no, I don't love them. I honestly been with her for like five months already, and I know she wouldn't cheat on me for no reason. You've told I love you to every girl since middle school. You do not love them. You don't know what love is. She loves me. Okay, she, no, she, no, no, she, no, 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 no. She, would, she wouldn't have broken up with me for two days and been with you for two days and then said, oh, no, she didn't want to be with you. Look, I can't help how I feel for her. It was, I was just scared and I didn't want that at the time. Look, but I know I, we have chemistry together. I mean, I take you on dates. I have a car. I take you everywhere you want to go. No one cares if you, you have good. a car. I have a car. I can, I can take her places. Well, you could always call Uber. <laughs> uh, do you still have the receipt for that? Maybe you can get you. No. No. Uh, but you. But why would you? Why would you sleep with the girlfriend of your cousin? I can't help but how I feel. You, I know we're cousins, and we've always had each other's back. But I like her, man. Were you aware that he had feelings for you? I mean, not at first. Like, um, we just kind of were talking. Yeah. And I told Did him that I was scared of marriage and everything. I kind of just wanted freedom. Yeah. Because I just mm -hmm. turned 18. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I feel like we have something real, and they rushed it too much. With me, you can take it slow. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, you were not, you did not reach my standards. Oh. Am I not good enough for you? You're not. Oh. I try everything. You're no, you're attractive, but there's more of that than just looks. Okay, just because I'm confident doesn't mean I'm cocky. I can still treat you right. No, you never asked me how my day was. You never asked, you never told me I look good. He does that all the time. Well, I like you. It's just hard for me to show my feelings this early. Okay, you like me. I don't like you. That right there? <laughs> It's well, not, I feel like anymore. I can treat you right. Yeah. You so, can't. If you're with me, it's going to be a hell of a lot better than But with I'm him. not with you. Well, there has to be something there. I mean, you cheated for me. I just told you why I did, though. Well, there, it was a one-time thing. There was no feelings whatsoever. Well, I mean, I got it once. I'm going to get it again. <laughs> But you're, you're saying it's not him, you want to be back with him. I love Dalton. Yes. You don't mean anything to me. So get that through your thick head of yours. <laughs> we'll be back. How are you doing? I have um, a two-part. I have a question for the last segment that was just here, and I have uh, a statement for Ginge over there. So my question to you guys is, um, I, you guys are young and stuff, you haven't been together very long, and, and um, apparently you were broken up, is that right, when the cheating happened? Mm -hmm. If you were broken up, then technically it's not cheating, right? Oh. I was just saying, so I think you should forgive each other, move on, and you, man, Holmes, slitting your cousin's throat for a little piece of is not the best thing for you to do, in my opinion, you know what I mean? That's kind of a chump thing. Ginge, I just wanted to say, um, what's the... Uh, <laughs> What state do you come from? Is it a red state? Because I hope you're voting for Bernie or Hillary because definitely we need more money in the public school system. This is a question for the two boxers. Do you play rock'em, sock'em robots or are you, or are you just, just learn how to box that way? I came to get my jerry beads.
Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. Super. We'll be right back with a final applause. Thank you, Jerry. This was on my bucket list. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I have this gift for you. But before you open it, I'm late. I miss my period. I think I'm pregnant. It's not me. I am not the father. Yeah. I'm 18 years old. Yeah. I have mad baby fever, Jerry. Like, mad. Like, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Like, I want a baby so bad, you know, because they're so cute. I like to dress them up, you oh, know. Yeah, that's a great reason to have a baby, yeah. Because <laughs> dolls are so expensive. Yeah. I want to dress them up. I want to kiss them. I want to hug them. I want to take pictures, post them all on Facebook. You know, it's so cute. Like, Jerry, you know how crazy I am? I'm getting it right I now. To get through. pregnant, Jerry, I go to sperm banks. So I look up online to see how to get pregnant. There's just one thing I saw, and it tells you how to get pregnant. You put your legs up like this for five minutes oh. and let it sit in there. And then, like, <laughs> you know. Is there, and then, like. Is there a parent at home guiding you? <laughs> is there, I mean, no, you really seem like a sweet lady. But you don't have a child. Because they're fun to dress up. Right. You know, it's like bringing a human being in the world that you're going to take care of for the rest of your life. That's a serious kind of thing. It's not, oh, gee, this is cute, man. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. You, so what are you saying? You want to have a baby by him? Yes, Jerry. I want to have a baby by him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you ready? Are you sure? I'm sure. Open it. I'm ready. What, what is it? What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We can always try again. <laughs> I can stop you right there, cause uh, you know, I am back with the with Brianna. Me and are fixing to get married. We got a baby on the way. Did you and know he? he, he uh, had well, a girlfriend? I, I mean, or I that knew she was of her. Yeah. You know, because, I, I, you know, I saw, you know, what happened with all. And that's why I'm like, why you want to go back to her? Because she cheated on you. that's like, the why? woman I love and the woman I'm having kids by, and that's who I'm going to be with. Okay, well, it seemed like, you know, she didn't love you when it happened, when she did that to you, you know? Well, I didn't understand, like, you're a good father. I don't know why she would do that to you. Things happen in life. You just got to go with it. And if you can work it out, you're going to work it out. And that's what I'm trying to do with mine. I want my family. Well, here, here is your, uh, the mother of your child. Here is Brianna. Allison. Allison, who I ain't never heard nothing about this little girl. Well, I met her one night when me and my buddies went out drinking while me and you was on a break. Okay, so what you think you finna have with him? Because you ain't finna have nothing with him. You well, talking about, no, you talking about you want to be a mother? You want to dress the baby up, take pictures, put it all over Facebook? Baby, that's not what being a mother is. Being I'm a mother, mother being a mother is taking care of a mother. Is. I know what being a mother is. I know how to be a mom. I know how to change them. I know, I know how to uh, make bottles. I've been doing this since I was this high, sweetheart. I don't know why he want to take you back, bitch. You a cheater. Okay, first of all, first of all, the past is the past. That was left in the past. That's going to stay in the past. We are working on our future, and you're not going to be a part of that future. You talking about you know how to be a mother? Do you have a kid? No, I no, have no you kid. don't have a kid. I, know. I have two kids and got one on the way, baby. Okay. You talking about you know how to uh, be a mother? You don't know what restless sleep is. You don't know making bottles, changing diapers every night, every day. You don't know that. Do you even have the money to take care of a child? Yes, no, I, I don't do. think so. I have a you job. Can't, you can't, I have a you job. can't pawn yes. 
Yes, I you do. Can't, you can't. You're 18 years old. I know. And you're a dumb 18 year old talking no. about you just want to jump into a relationship. I'm not you dumb. You want to sit here and talk about you want to have a baby because you want to dress the baby up. You want to take pictures and put on Facebook. That's not what being a mother is. Being a mother is taking care of your child, taking care of responsibility. And I don't think you got that instinct. Hmm. Baby, you ain't got All right. that. So what's going to happen here? He's going home with me. He ain't touching that. That ain't going to happen. Hmm. Okay, who okay. is? Okay, we'll see. Who is oh, Kim? We don't see. Kim is my best friend. And Okay, here's yeah. Kim. Okay, so you're her friend. And, yes, I'm yeah. her best friend. Okay, and you you didn't like obviously what you heard. No, not at all. Yeah. Were you? Funny. So you weren't aware that he was messing with her. No. Yeah. What do you want to say to him? Kyle, she can do way better than you. Well, uh, that that may be the case, but all I need to do is, that's mine and her business, and you need to keep your nose out of exactly. it. Exactly. Part of this. She gonna whoop that ass regardless. <laughs> okay. All right. So what's gonna happen here? You two have to decide. You're staying together. You want to be. Gonna, he's going home with me. And you want to be there. Yes, sir. That's all there. I want is my family. close but the winner is chaos there she is there she is And you will carry that crown for the rest of the year. But of course, if for any reason you're not able to fulfill your duties, one of the other two will step in and end <laughs> There you go. Okay, let's start with the questions now. Yes. Um, my comments for the girl in the maroon skirt and the black shirt, how did you let that little bitch beat your big ass? Oh! So first and foremost, she pulled my hair. There's a difference between beating somebody up and pulling their hair. There's a big difference. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out. Yeah. Oh, okay, you right. You right. My question is for the girl in the back with the glasses on. I thought you had to be an astronaut to see the stars that close, but I guess not. You proved this all wrong. Oh! My question is for the pregnant bitch's friend. How you come over here trying to defend your friend and you got your ass beat by this half of oh! Sorry, my comment is for the ladies over there. All three of you could have won. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Hi, so my comment's for the girl in the back with the blonde. So you're 18, right? Yeah. Are you going to go to school? Where are your parents? Why do you want to have kids? Come on. Actually, I already went to school. I got my diploma, so. Hey. What? I got my education. What did you say? I didn't hear you. I got my education. No pay. Sis, sis, if you're not going to college and getting a diploma, then I don't see what you're doing. Hi, Jerry. Uh, Redheaded Lexi over here. You're beautiful. You need to dump that zero. Get with this hero. Our producer has decided that you will take us into the final thought. We'll be right back with Jerry's final thought.
dating three different women. Problem is, they all sisters. You're not paying. Hey, wait, no! And a liar. <laughs> and a dog. All right, Matt says his relationship has expired. Oh, Matt, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Jerry. This, she a bump on a log, you know what I mean? It's expired. It's been like that, but now it's just gotten to the point where it's it's all the way over, you know what I mean? She's all the way, nothing to give me, you know what I mean? I, How long you been with her? I've been with her for about seven years, but it's been oh. off and on. You know, I broke oh. up about five times or so, but this time, it's, it's for real, You're you know what I mean? Done, you, you want to be done with her. I'm Why all now? the way done. What's... Well, I've known this girl, Kaylin, you know what I mean? We've been together for a while now. You know, I've known each other, but... Oh, this you know, other woman. Right, yeah, yeah Kaylin. And she's really beautiful. She's cool as hell, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, she finally gave me a chance. You know, I've kind of had a crush on her, but she finally gave me a chance here recently, you know what I mean? And I'm digging it. That's what I want. That's, yeah. that's sparking. There's energy there, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, yeah, I know what you're saying. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, okay, so you have your girl... Are you living with your girlfriend? Well, yeah, we actually... All three of us actually live in the same house. Oh, so. it, oh. <laughs> Wait, so you're living with your girlfriend in this other woman's house? Yeah. And but you're now more interested in the other woman whose house it is rather definitely, than definitely, definitely, Jerry. Does she have any idea about this? Well, no, nah, she thinks that we just friends, you know what I mean? Because we've known each other forever and she knows, you know, she just thinks it's nothing. She thinks we're just Are friends. you literally, I mean, like, are you sleeping in the same bed with your girlfriend? Yes, yes, downstairs in the basement. I live down in the basement with my girlfriend, you know what I mean? At, at her, her so and you, mom's house. So you're having sex with your girlfriend, but you're also messing with the. Yeah, I've been going upstairs. I was up. Oh. <laughs> Do you enjoy going upstairs or you rather go down? Oh, no, I'm going upstairs. Always up, Jerry. Up, never down. Do you have any feelings for your girlfriend, though? I mean, Look, seven years. Right. You're about to tell her on national television you don't want to be with her anymore? Well, you know, she kind of knows. She kind of knows what it is. I've been using her kind of, you know what I mean? Like, she got the whip. She got, you know what I mean? She, hey, let's go Subway. Let's, let's go get a blunt, you know what I mean? Let's go smoke, you know what I mean? She kind of does what I want, you know what I mean? She ain't doing nothing with her life. Might as well, you know, grab a, grab a hold and let's go. Yeah. I'll grab the wheel. Right. So, you know, and Kaylin, she's popping. That's, that's what Kaylin's I want. Kaylin's popping, man. She's that's right there. I'll tell you, she's... <laughs> Do you rap? Actually, yeah, I do rap. And Kaylin raps too, so. Oh, sure. So we, 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 that's what I'm saying. We click like that. Every, oh, every party, like, we yeah. freestyle them. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Jenny is your girlfriend, and yeah. you're going to tell Jenny now that it's over after seven years. Yes, yes, Jerry. Are, are you a little nervous about that? Well, no, nah, I ain't. You got to have some history with her. I mean, right, seven I mean, years. Who are you kidding? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just do my thing. I don't pimp. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah. just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen, yeah. there, also, you know what I mean? The thing is, she don't do much, you know what I mean? She's she's more just sitting there like a bump along. You know, she's so bland, she barely blink her eyes, you know what I'm saying? She, oh. ain't, she ain't doing too good, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm over here, I try to help her out. She's a professional cleaner, right? She actually, you know, cleans houses and stuff, professional. I told her, I said, look, why don't we go talk to a loan specialist, you know? We can actually get you doing something with that. It's so easy, get a vacuum, a couple cleaning supplies, you can do your own thing. <laughs> she acting like that, she acting like that's some foreign language. I'm talking Chinese or something, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, and I'm, doing, I'm actually say. doing stuff, you know what I mean? I, I love know. reptiles. I'm a reptile fanatic, right? Yeah. I'm actually, I want to breed reptiles for a living, for real. And I would love to have my own zoo one day, actually. For real. Oh, there they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, that's a guana and a bumblebee paw python right there. Yeah. That's, this is a python? Yeah, that's a bumblebee paw python right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool, but the, the more ones I'm into is the big constrictors, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like a reticulated python. Yeah. You might not know, so you know an anaconda, right? Yes. Well, yes. that's actually not the, the longest snake. There's a reticulated python. They're yeah. the longest species of snake. Okay. Anacondas, you know what I mean? They're, they're big, they're bulky, yes. they're heaviest, you know, the yeah. toughest, but that's not, that's not the longest. And then there's like, there's this blue tongue skink that I like, and it's actually coming up in the world. <laughs> It's a lizard, and it's actually coming yeah. up in the world. People are actually starting to like it a lot, you know what I mean? They got this display with their tongue, they, sit, yeah. they just put it out and look all blue and stuff. The predators are like, oh yeah, if I yeah. eat that, I'm dying tomorrow, you know what So I mean? your girlfriend should be used to snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she, she's used to snakes, all right? I, I mean, my snake. <laughs> all right, you're gonna tell Jenny now. Well, she knows now because she's watching backstage. <laughs> What you mean? After everything I've done for you? Nah. She... I have a car. I support us. <clears throat> I help pay your bills. I help take care of your reptiles. I've been with you for seven years, and I gave you my virginity. 
Jay. Oh. Where did you put it? <laughs> no, Jenny, listen, dude. You, what you really gotta understand is I told you, you know what I mean? I ain't really digging you. You know I ain't digging you, you know what I'm saying? When we have sex, I ain't take that shirt off, you know what I'm saying? I'm not feeling like that, you know what I'm saying? You let your legs go sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You don't get your eyebrows in touch, you, let, you know what I mean? When's the last, you ain't never did your nails, you know what I'm saying? I'm not feeling yes, it over here. I'm not feeling, I don't love you no more, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's over. Does he, does he always talk like this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, There's okay. been plenty of times I've heard this. Oh, I see. Because you, you're kind of taking it like I've heard this before. I mean, but, kind of, but now it's it's gotten to the point that I just... Oh, come on. Suck it up. Good God. Yeah. <laughs> Not that he's doing stuff with another girl in our house. That, like, yeah. That's horrible. It's not your house. That's my house. It's our house. I help pay the bills there. Yeah, well, I'm the one that's gonna be staying there when I went. Right. Right. You out. Well, I hope we can work things out and I can still stay there. What? No, you need to get that through your head. I'm telling you right now, me and Kaylin, that's popping right there. That's that we might get Did married. Did you have one any day. idea that There's he was future. messing with Kaylin? I had no idea, Jerry. No idea. No idea. Oh, uh, yeah, hell yeah. Every Do time you we feel party, at all badly about this? Well, I mean... I mean, just how you're treating them both. You know, messing with one, then well, going I treat Kaylin good as hell. What you mean? I treat Kaylin good. She yeah. knows what's up. But, see, she... I just never had that, you know what I mean, the ambition. I never wanted Why to... Why is that? Because I can't take my clothes off and strip for you? Well, I mean... Is that what it is? I don't want that to happen. Why would I want that? Well, you then why me? do you want her? Because she's sexy. She popping. We good. She cool. She's sexy. I got a crush on her for a while. She gave me the opportunity. Yeah, she like that. We about to hit it. It's right. on forever. <laughs> you? Uh-uh. No, no, no. I don't think so, man. Listen, you need to get it through your head. It's, it's all. Awesome. So, do you feel at all badly, I mean, they've been together for seven years, and you're all living in the same house, and do you owe her anything to say, you know, I, if I'm breaking you guys up, maybe I shouldn't be doing that, or look elsewhere for a guy? I see what you're saying, Jerry. Yeah. If she was a good friend, I would. But she didn't even come to my baby shower. Oh. She didn't come to my graduation. Oh. She must not be that good of a friend, right? No, I came to your graduation. I just didn't bring a gift. And what other of your little friends didn't come? 
They didn't even show up. They didn't want nothing well, to do with you. I mean, hey. At least I, I paid. I ain't no hater, Jenny. What I am I no supposed hater. to do? Stand there and hate because I got your man, but I got him. It's all right. So I'm still fighting for him. I love him. I actually right. love him. Well. Okay, Love goes so, a long way. so you're exactly. saying now, so this is over this now? This is over, Jerry. Listen, I don't want me to and be her. over, Jerry. I really don't. Nah. I love him, and I want to work on stuff with him. Listen, Jerry, me and her, this is, this is. Oh. I know about you. You came with him. So I you gave you. Listen, regardless to anything, I don't want her. I want to make things work with you, and I'm willing to do anything it takes. You're a stripper, not a prostitute. You obviously can't do your job good if you got to give sexual favors for the money. First of all, I'm 20 years old. I'm a single mom. Both of my boys are under oh, two years old. Oh, what a great old. example you're setting for them. <laughs> My boys will respect me because I'm doing whatever I can to provide for them. Yeah. And not only that, I did yeah. one time. Okay, one time. One I'm time. Sure. Oh, you're not interested in being with him? No. Oh. I'm about my oh. Well, tell him that. She's got more give. You don't want to be with me? No, Corey, I don't. I'm about my money. I'm sorry if you thought whatever, but I have two children to take care of and... I am not wanting a relationship at all. Well, I thought it was more than that. <laughs> Wait, no. No. <laughs> no. Tampa, how? Okay, guy to guy, how could you possibly have thought it was more than that when you would uh, just for however many minutes or an hour it was in a bar? I guess how I was blinded at the time, Jerry. I just, I just know I want to be with her. Why? Did you look into her eye? You didn't see her eyes. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you, uh, what, I mean, uh, seriously, what told you that, wow, this, she really cares about me? I just, like I said, when I gave her the $50, I've gave her money throughout the night, and I, that was not for what she did for me. I, I've been giving it to her the whole night, you know, I was, she was, it was after hours, we was taking shots, and I was going behind the bar taking shots, and. If you want that lifestyle, why can't you just tell me? Instead of having me thinking that we're on the same page. We've always kept it real with each other, no matter what, kept it real. Okay. So you, you're not going to be with him, is what you're no. saying? <laughs> no. No. Uh, do you still want to stay with him after this? You know, Jerry, that's a hard question. <laughs> but see, you guys don't know me. I'm a writer. I stay down for mine in. You're a what? A writer? A writer. That a writer die. That's where. Oh, oh, oh you said. No writer. matter what, that means no matter what. Even if he's gonna cheat. It's You're... my best friend. Oh. It's my best friend. What do you want to say to her? That's... I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to punch you so hard. <laughs> you know he's sincere. Okay, I'm making fun here, and I really shouldn't, but it, it seems to me you're young, you're not ready to be committed yet. It, 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 just, it just seems to me that's what's really going on here. You're both nice young people, but he's not serious about a relationship yet. And she's just a homewrecker, like, she seen me with him at the bachelor party. She knew that that was my man. She, she but must But you're get saying you it. don't care. No, I don't care. Relationships never last. Don't you know that? That's not. I used to be 90-some pounds, if that, um, all through high school, and I've gained 100-some pounds in the last two years um, weightlifting. <laughs> um, but you seem fit. You're... Yeah, I can show you. Yeah, well. Uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was looking in a mirror. <laughs> okay, so you're here. Uh, do you know why you're here? Um, yeah, I'm kind of like two girls. Um, interested in both of them. They do know oh. each other. Oh, so they're basically, you're going to figure out which of the two you would like to date. Yeah, yeah, they both um, like have so expressed they... interest in you, haven't they? Right, and I've expressed interest in them, so... Uh... Oh, okay, well, why don't we meet them? Catalia and Aubrey. Okay, uh, let me first find out here. Uh, you are, which one is Catalia? I am. You're Catalia. Hi, Jerry. Okay, and you want to tell us about yourself? Just Yes, Fred, I'm here because I want to be with you. You and I have been talking on Facebook, and I love that your exterior doesn't match your interior, and I think that you and I would be great for each other, and I love that me being trans doesn't matter to you. Oh. Oh, you're transgender? Yes. You're transgender and that's... Yeah, that, I'm bisexual. That's great. You're bisexual. That's good. Okay, very good. And, uh, and you are Aubrey or... Aubrey. 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 Yes. And uh, what do you want to say to him? So, Finn, you know, ever since we've gone to school together, I've had a really big crush on you. And I know a lot of the other girls liked you, but they didn't like you for you. They liked you for who you seemed to be and what you looked like. And I really want to be that special person in your life and like you for you. Okay. And, you, and are you transgender as well? I See, that's why I really like Finn is because I am transgender. Yeah. And uh, he treats me like a woman. He doesn't treat me like an object like my other ex-boyfriends have. Yeah. And he really is a sweet and compassionate guy. Well, super. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So, uh, what do you want to say, or how are you going to determine who you want to be with? Um, well, first of all, I want to ask like three main questions, stuff I think that's important that I'd ask anyone yeah. for a relationship. Um, so, the first question is, if we were going to go on a date, um, where would you guys take me? I would take you to the 21 seat Metropole in Cincinnati, since you love art so much. It's a restaurant and an art museum, and they have very intricate pieces there. And I think that the pieces there resemble some of the pieces that you make, that you show me on your Instagram. Okay. That, that's well, in Cincinnati. Then, you know, I know you're not very bougie like some people and don't like all the fancy stuff. So I figured we could do a nice romantic, maybe picnic underneath the stars to get to know each other and see where things go. Very good. <laughs> Okay. Um, What's your next question? So my second question is, I'm a big painter, I'm an artist. Um, if we were a couple, what would our symbol be? Actually, we should, we got canvas and stuff. Well, uh, of see. course, we have canvas here, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring out the canvas. Oh. Oh. Very nice. And we put that here. Oh, you get your, okay. yeah, get your brushes all wet. Oh, that's very nice. Because you're an artist, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been okay. a painter for, since I was a kid, so. Yeah, watching them, do you think they're artistic as they're drawing this, or they're kind of like me, they don't know what they're doing? Um, I definitely go at it a different way. But. Yeah, it's a different way to go around it. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that in the third grade. <laughs> No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. Oh my. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't want to say anything, but you would not be D1 if this was... Uh, <laughs> Very good. Are we done now? One at a time shows. Okay. This is the symbol of you two together. So the symbol that I drew is two hearts together combining as one because Finn's is mine, and I want to be with him. And if he gives me the chance, I want to show him. I look at that, it's self-explanatory. Okay, now let's look at the other one. Okay. That's gonna be tough to beat. So, show the audience. Mine. This is, oh, but, ooh, that was a nice reaction there. I know that there. would be a little hard to understand, but my symbol for us would be two swords and the fire would be igniting our love and fire for each other. Oh. And the two swords make sense. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't do a sword and a donut. <laughs> um, well, I definitely like the, the art, so thank you both for that. Uh, my third question is, I feel like the first kiss um, kind of Ooh. Tells what everything's gonna be about. Maybe there's a spark. So I'm gonna see if we could both try that out and see what happens. Yeah. It's your fault, too. I'm not the only one. That's... What, how are you going to disrespect me with my neighbor? Are you serious? I asked you. You, you said you did it. it. You pushed me to it. Oh. Okay. You pushed me to it. You're always you, kicking you me out. You're man always man embarrassing to, me. You could have been man enough to tell me what was going on. You always think I'm doing it anyway, so why not? You steady always saying I'm cheating. I'll go with my boys, go cheerfully. But you like who you with over there? I'm with my boys. And your boys are hoes, so you're considered a hoe that's too. Him, that's not me. I came, I, I did a lot for you. I, I suffered a lot for you to take and care of you. And that's a relationship. You have to do what you got to do to, if that's what you want. You suffer in pain. That's what it is. But you need to let go of the cheating. past. Let go of the not past. Cheating. I done did a lot to, to show you that I love you and to take care of you and that this I want to stay love, with you. That's love. You no, do. but when that's I got to come home and you steady saying that I've been with somebody over here when I haven't, I go to my mom's house and I come home and you're, oh, who's with you? It's over there at your mom's house. I'm with my mom. Oh, what so you your mean? mom gave you the, back, the scratch on your back then? No. <laughs> well, that's She good. already told me. She already told me. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we had sex. We had sex. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm okay. We did. I'm like I said, I'm tired of you saying I'm cheating. Why not just do it? You you gave me nothing but the reason to doubt. You you were a player. I, I, I did in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. So I messed up wanna, in the beginning. You don't want to be with her. No, I don't want to be with her, Jerry. I love my girl. I love I her. I love her to death. I don't mean to hurt her. I see. Who is Gavino? That's my little brother. Oh, your brother. My little brother. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Your little brother. Here he is. Here's Gavino. <laughs> Let you know that I got something that I need to think to you. Nah, you know you like my fat ass. The time we smoked that blunt, I had my hand in your pants. Had your skin all tight when you keep in the secret because you know you a straight man. What? I just want to let you know. I like that, bro. You need to get that somewhere, bro. You want. To me, bro. Okay, so why are you always worried about me when I put my makeup on and how I look? You know I just do that to be funny, man. That ain't no dumb by being no funny because you sitting there worrying about how I look and you always looking at me when I twerk because you know you like how this be all up. <laughs> That's what you like. That's what you like. No, okay. You know I love my girl. Okay, hi. So you're, wait, you're her, 
Uh, uh, this is my sister, my older sister. Okay, so you're the younger brother, yes. and you're saying you're attracted to him, or you? It was just a one night thing. Oh, you had sex with him? No, all I did was I <laughs> he liked it. it. That's what he, he took did. advantage of me. I talk, I went over there to talk about my girl problems with about yeah. my girl. We, yeah. we started smoking. Yeah. Got too yeah. He took advantage of me, Jerry. Oh, yeah. I am completely hurt and disgusted yeah. by you. You know that that is my man. You, you know, know I, I took you in. I fed you. I take you to your appointments yeah. and your interviews. Everything that you have, and you're gonna go and sleep okay, with my. So why try you to mess. You don't ever appreciate him, so I have to show him who does appreciate so you, him. So you another bitch on these streets? I have to worry about. I'm another bitch on these streets. Oh, oh seriously, <laughs> it's your sister. Why would you She's interfere? Why would you interfere in her relationship? She's my sister, Jerry, you know, and I really care about her. But yeah. when it's times like this, whenever he's at home and he's sit talking, complaining about his relationship and that he's not happy, well, you know what? We're going to smoke a blunt, and that's what happened. And he sure did love it. Yeah. I didn't love it, bro. You took advantage of me, bro. You did love it. No, you took advantage of me, bro. Because you know what? Because you get... Okay. Uh... You're lucky I got glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's going to happen here? He's going to... You've got some decisions to make. He says he, you love her, right? Yeah, I love and her And you want to be heart. with her. Yes, I love her with all my heart. Doesn't Jerry. look like I do it. anything just to be with her. I give her, all, I give her my all. Yeah, but you gave her her all except for when you're with her gay brother and a lesbian neighbor. <laughs> Wait, I'm not gay, ass. bro. You know I love my girl. Hmm, yeah. I couldn't tell that night. <laughs> so why you always do me when we're watching RuPaul's Drag Race and stuff? What is that about? I don't know no straight man that watches RuPaul's Drag Race. Bro, I'll let you watch what you want in my house. You live with me. Oh, you a grown man, you can watch what you want Whatever, in my house. Whatever, you always like, put your beat on, put your face on, because you look good. Man, man I don't do that to be funny. <laughs> Okay. You know, it just makes me mad when somebody's straight and they, you know they in the closet, all these D-lo down low boys. Bro, and stuff. I'm straight all the way. Well, you may, you may. Like be. I said, we we got too high. I was falling asleep. You took advantage of me, bro. Like they taking advantage yeah. when you was up and you loved your eyes roll back. You. All right. Amber says she finally has her perfect family and she couldn't be happier. Amber, what's? Wow, what's going on? Me and Dalton have been in a relationship for two years. Yeah. We have a six-month-year-old. Oh, well, wonderful. Um, we had a fallout two weeks ago, and oh. I left. I left for two weeks. Yeah. The whole two weeks, I was messaging him while he was at work, and I had the baby. I'd wake up so scared, you know, just, he's not coming back. You know, oh. me and Caden are just going to be left here, you know. Yeah. Not that he's not coming back to get his baby, but yeah. just, we're not going to be together, you know. Oh. Caden's so happy with us together. He... Yeah. You can tell. Ever since Caden was born, you can tell Caden's happy with him and his daddy. So you're, you don't know why you're here? I don't. Oh, oh. But you, you obviously want to keep this relationship together and hope that he grows up and takes responsibility. Yes. For our baby. Well, sure. Here's Dalton. Hey, how are you? Jerry, how are you? How are things going? Uh, right now, they're not so good. Oh. oh. Uh, I came out here to tell you that we're back together now, but I don't feel the same. Whenever, whenever we were broke up for two weeks, those were the best two weeks of my life. Oh. But what you couldn't romantic. you couldn't tell me that when we before we even moved back into the house together? Well, I felt like I wanted you again, but I didn't want you. So basically you don't know what you want. You're confused. Yes. Well, no, I'm not confused. Are you sure? It's the best two weeks of my life because I didn't have to come home to hear you bitch at me about what I didn't do and 
I mean, I go to work every morning, bust my ass. I got forced into being an electrician, and I don't like that. The only reason I like going to work is because I get time away from you. Oh. Wow. You bust your ass at work, but when you come home, you come home to dinner cooked, clothes laid out to take a shower, bed made. <laughs> And I appreciate that, but I don't like having to ask you for permission to have my friends over. I like to have my house dirty when I wanted to, and I can clean it up when I can. But it's not about us anymore. It's about the baby. I don't want to be a dad. Whoa. What? You said you don't want to be a dad? I don't want to be a dad. That's a little late, isn't it? Yeah. You are, Dad. I mean, I, every week I can throw you money for the baby, but I just want to do my own thing for right now. But you have a child. You, I mean, what's the baby going to do? You can't just have a baby and then walk away. I know, I just, Did that I, happen to you? No, it didn't happen to me. So you rather just look at a six-month-year-old little baby and... See him grow up without a daddy and just mama and son and no daddy in the picture? Well, whenever we weren't together, I got to talk to all the girls that I wanted to and I didn't have to worry about you going through my messages at night while I'm asleep. And, no. But I care so much because we have a baby. If it, if it wasn't for our baby, I probably, I probably wouldn't have tried so hard. But we have a baby. It's about the baby. It's not about us. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was with three different girls, and actually, I'm still seeing one of them. Oh, really? So you couldn't tell me that? No. So you wait till now to tell me that? Yeah. Who may you be seeing? Anna. Anna? Oh, you don't... Does she know Anna? Uh, well, she knows Anna, but she didn't know of... Of that they you two were with her. You yes. know a girl named Anna? I know a girl named Anna. Yeah, here she is. I was over there. Oh, A wow. lot. Here's Anna. I mean, I didn't after have that. After we have a baby, after we have a house. If you didn't want a baby, you should have told him to wrap it up. Uh, that's that's a man's job. That's not a female's job, baby. You I had, had a birth control wrap it up. shot. That's a man's job. Oh, that that's his. Work? That's his. Okay. Well, I can understand why he would accident. do this to you. Because you're so controlling. You don't let him do it. He, you knew he was a child. Why would you sleep with him? He's childish. Yep, you're right. That was your fault. And why, do you, why would you think this wouldn't happen? You're so clingy on him. Y'all fight all the time. It's constant. Wait, let's say you're right about it, all of it. But they have a child now. Why would, well, you're a young, attractive woman. Why wouldn't you just move on to someone that isn't involved in a relationship? Me and Dalton have known each other yeah. for six years. Do you, want to be, do you want to be with him? Yeah. Oh. I have, I mean, I've had a crush on him for a while. And I really didn't think that they would last the way that she is. Do you think he, he, he you could have a relationship with him? Is he mature enough? Or, because you came out and said he's a child. No, I don't want a relationship. Oh, you don't want? Okay, D says the spirits made him cheat. Whoa. Oh. D, what, what's going on? How's it going, Jerry? Good. All right, man, I'm here today to tell my best friend, Robbie, that the female that he's with is not the one. Why? Well, it all started off when... Well, let me start from the beginning. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. Me and Robbie, my best friend, we've been through everything together. High school, we were always close. Did sports. We've been to out of state parties. We've always just been real close. But now he's with this female, and I get this feeling that 
she's just not the sweet angel that everybody thinks she is, Jerry. Oh, I, why do you think that? Well, not too long ago, I sent her a text message. I'm like, hey, where's Robbie at? She's like, he's at work. I'm like, okay. But it's the emoji that she sent me after the text message that really had me like, what's up with this? You know, the little smiley face emoji with the side smirk, you know, the, the little... The little flirty one, yeah. yeah. She, so she sent me that, so I tell my boy, I'm like, hey, Robbie, you know, why your girl send me these messages? Now, we weren't raised to love these hoes. I'm just being honest with you. And he, Whoa. and, Whoa. yeah, I, and, and he loves her, like, to the T. Oh, man, that's nothing, that's nothing. Don't even worry about it. I mean, that's just how she So takes. what happened? So Robbie's at work. Yeah. It's just me and her at the apartment chilling. I'm playing a little Xbox, mad, and, you know, just relaxing. She's playing with some cards and has a couple stones on the table. She says, hey, D, come over here and go check out these stones. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess. Now, the reason why she has these stones and all these cards is because she's a Wiccan. She believes in spirits and the earth can make anything happen and the stars aligning and she gets special powers and all this stuff. I don't usually entertain it, but I was like, what the heck, why not? So I entertained it. I walked up to the table, and she handed me this red stone like it was the freaking holy grail. I swear to God. She gives it to me. I put it in my hand. Next thing you know, I'm in the bed. She's on top of me, riding me like a freaking bull. Like a bull. I can't control it. It's yeah. like I'm laying on the bed, stuck like I'm in a casket. I couldn't move yeah. or anything. Because you, you had this rock. Well, the rock wasn't in my hand no more. No, you got your rocks off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the rock fell off. I mean, I know if I was And the in, rock made you do it. It, it was more than a rock. It was her putting a spell on me. That's exactly what she did to me, and it's exactly what she did to my boy. Do you know anyone that's going to believe this? <laughs> you see, that's the reason why I'm here today. Because yeah. I need to let him know that all this stuff that she has going on, these rocks, these stones, us having sex, the whole situation isn't right. And she doesn't need to be in his life, and he doesn't need her in, her, in his life. Well, uh, why, knowing that he's your best friend, and uh, let, let's say she's coming on to you, why didn't you just say, whoa, 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 I'm not going there? She has powers, Jerry, I'm whoa. telling you. She looks at you like she's saying a chant, like, I'm not ring, ring, I'm not, but she doesn't say it. She never says it, guys, I swear. Well, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of nervous then bringing her out. I you're mean, gonna see her, and you're not gonna think that this girl can do the things that she does. But I swear, I'm witness that she has powers and that she can make anybody do anything that she wants. <laughs> she had control over me, and she has control over my boy. I want that to stop today. Well, well, <laughs> well maybe it will, 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 will bring her out. Hey, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, because so I'm, she could do it right here. Hey, I don't know what if y'all want to. So you, you're going to be having sex with her right now? No, 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 no. I mean, if she if she makes it happen, I mean, it, it's, it is what it is, Jerry. To be honest with it you, it is what it is. Yeah. It's either her. How or many me. times has she done this? To me? Yeah. It was only one time, Jerry, and yeah. I'm not trying to have this go on any longer. I want to let him know exactly what happened, and tell him, hey, bro, it's either going to be me or her. I mean, if you want to be controlled all your life by this evil, demonic. Well, you didn't seem to mind it. I mean, I couldn't control myself, Jerry. Oh. She had me on the bed. Come on. Here's Robbie. All right. Best buddies. Apparently, yes, sir. And well, what do you, he, he wants to tell you something. What is it you want to tell him? Robbie, look at me, bro. All right, man. I brought you here today to let you know that Catherine isn't, like, I've, we've already talked about this. She's not the girl for you, man. She <laughs> has control of you. She, you don't want to do anything that we used to do. We used to have fun, bro. We used to go party. We used to pull. All the bitches. We, we did everything together, man. We used to race, go skateboarding. I mean, you don't even want to open up the aerospace business anymore. We got all these investors so lined up to really get started on us with. Well, we can still do all that. But like, that's not stopping her. She's not the problem here. Yes, she is, Robbie. 
I'm telling you, this girl isn't the girl that you think she is. I've always said that she's been a flirt with me. I've always said those text messages, those emojis, the... The, the, the smirky face, hey, no, man. it's not you just taking it the wrong way, though. No, it's not me Why taking it, it the wrong it? way. It, oh. it... All right, man. Last Thursday, you, remember you were at work and you left us at the apartment by yourself? Yeah, because I trust you. Bro. All right, you know those cards and the stones that y'all are so interested in or you're interested in now? Of course. The ones that can make you feel certain type of ways and give you these powers that you think that you have. But last week she showed me one of those stones and it, it, made, me, it made me have sex with her. Oh. Did what? You're saying, you're saying you were stoned? No, 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 I wasn't stoned. You know- You had no. sex with my girl? Bro. We're friends, like, I trusted you. I know we're friends, Robbie, but your girl's a slut, We've okay? Been together for... <laughs> My girl's a slut. Bro, your girl's a slut, bro. I've been trying to tell you she's a slut since day one. That's not my girl. How are you? You're the slut, bro. You always <laughs> other girls. You can't do that. You no, know I'm that's not. how we were raised, not to love these hoes. Why are you changing your ways Ho, now? Who you calling a hoe? Don't You're... call my girl a hoe, bro. I didn't call Don't her a hoe. Call I called her a slut. <laughs> Uh, here's Kaplan. I am not a bitch. How are you gonna do this? And I'm not a slut. That's not, no. That rock, that's not right. That's not true. A rock. And I'm yeah. not a vampire it's or not a witch. True. It's not true. Or anything stupid. So you didn't, so you didn't have me in the bed last yeah, week. y'all didn't have sex? Like, this is part of you too? We, we did. Why? But... Why? How are you gonna do that to me? You we forced are. me to have sex with you. Admit it. No, you I did put not those force you. No, on me I didn't. The same thing I have you did for issues, and you know that we have dealt with that from day yeah, one. Yes, so why are you gonna do this to me? Because commitment he, issues. He, I'm loyal. Why can't you be? Is that so hard? He makes me feel free, and he reminds me. Hold of on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Damn. we get along really well. What does he give you that I don't? <sighs> I mean, I know what I gave her. Oh. No, no, no. You're lucky those bodyguards are right. Man, yeah. they protecting you. Oh. No, y'all don't. I'm Dude. sorry. How I'm, did you do this? I am so sorry, Robbie. I didn't this even was... know about that. Like, really? No. He seduced me. I don't even me. want to hear it. I don't even. No. Go ahead. What do you have? This is just not right. Like, I can't, I can't deal. Uh, what, what prompted you to have sex with him? Yeah, why? He tells the we story. We live together. He makes me feel better. He, like, Robbie always, like, feel come. Oh. You make me feel insecure. And I've told you that I have trust issues and commitment issues, serious commitment issues. And you said that you would work with me with on it. And you never do. You never I've, make me feel better. Everything I've done, I bring you to work. I got you a job. I got you into school. All this stuff and I don't try? No, you have it. You, you don't give me what every I need. Night. I give you, oh. No, you don't. You wait, give what's you what the last time you did, have you ever bought me flowers? We went to all of or, or jewelry or okay. anything. You right. spoiled so I'm slut. So I'm I am cheap. not spoiled. Bro. No. <laughs> so you don't want to be with him or you do? No, I don't want to be with you. It was a one time thing and I, I'm How can I trust you there? Because I'm I'm your girl. Like you were you trust me. You were my girl. No, we're gonna work this out. Oh, uh, I trust you and you're my best friend, so that's okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you. Now, I, wanna... I can't believe So two two quick questions. One, is he came up with this story about how you had this rock that puts power over him. That is, that's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so that that's ridiculous. I, I am a Wiccan, and, but it's oh, an earth-based religion. It's earth-based. Yeah, yeah, it's just all about what comes from the earth and, you know, good energy and stuff. Like, the stones, it's really all in, like, all in your head, but it's something that I like to do, and it's part of my belief. Yeah. Was I didn't that do a... anything like, like, no possession. I'm not a vampire or a witch. Or, oh. That's stupid. That's... Yeah.
And do you want to still be with him? I do. I... Are you going to still be with her? I want to not trust her after that. No. I'll live with both of them. I'll live with both of them in the same house. If yeah. you're going to do that, how do I know it's not going to happen again? It's not. What well, happens the next time you see her? I didn't want it to happen in the first place, honestly. D, you so come see? on to me so all the time. Like, I, I don't even want you flirt with me. I don't even know your trust. I can't trust you. Uh, here's Kaplan. <laughs> That's not, no, that raw that's not right. That's not true. A raw, and I'm yeah. not a vampire it's or not a witch true. It's not true. or anything stupid. So you didn't, so you didn't have me in the bed last yeah, week? y'all didn't have sex? Like, this is part of you too? We, we did. Why? But... Why? How are you going to do that to me? You we forced are... me to have sex with you. Admit it. No, you I did not force you. No, I did it. I had did some for issues and you know that. We have dealt with that from day yeah, one. Yeah, so why are you going to do this to me? Because commitment he, issues. He, I'm loyal. Why can't you be? Is that so hard? He makes me feel free, and he reminds hold me of on, the parties. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Him. we get along really well. What does he give you that I don't? <sighs> I mean, I know what I gave her. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky those bodyguards are right. Man, yeah. they protecting you. Oh. Yeah. No, y'all don't. Yeah. I'm sorry. How I am, can you do this? I am so sorry, Robbie. I didn't this even was... know about that. Like, really? No. He seduced me. I don't even me. want to hear it. I don't even. No. Go ahead. What do you have? This is just not right. Like, I can't, I can't deal. Uh. What what prompted you to have sex with him? Yeah, why? He tells the we story. We live together. He makes me feel better. He like Robbie always like feel come. Better. Oh. You make me feel insecure, and I've told you that I have trust issues and commitment issues, serious commitment issues. And you said that you would work with me with on it, and you never do. You never I've, make me feel better. Everything I've done, I bring you to work. I got you a job. I got you into school. All this stuff, and I haven't tried. No, you haven't. You, you don't give me what every I need. Night. I give you, oh. No, you don't. You went, when's the last time? You, have you ever bought me flowers? We went to Olive Garden. Or, or jewelry or okay. anything. You right. spoiled so I'm slut. So I am I'm not cheap. spoiled. Bro, no. <laughs> so you don't want to be with him or you do? No, I don't want to be with you. It was a one-time thing and I, I'm... How can I trust you then? Because I'm, I'm your girl. Like you were, you trust me. You were my girl. No, we're gonna work this out. Oh, uh, I trust you, and you are my best friend. So that's okay. Yeah, exactly. And you. Okay. Now, I, wanna... I can't believe. So two, two quick questions. One is he came up with this story about how you had this rock that puts power over him. That is, that's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that that's ridiculous. I, I am a Wiccan, and, but it's oh, an earth-based religion. It's earth-based. Yeah, yeah, it's just all about what comes from the earth and, you know, good energy and stuff. Like, the stones, it's really all in, like, all in your head, but it's something that I like to do, and it's part of my belief. Yeah. Was I didn't that do a... anything like, like, no possession. I'm not a vampire or a witch. Oh. Or, that's stupid. That's... Yeah. And do you want to still be with him? I do. I do. Are you going to still be with her? I want to trust her after that. No. I'll live with both of them. I'll live with both of them in the same house. If yeah. you're going to do that, how do I know it's not going to happen again? It's not. What well, happens the next time you see her? I didn't want it to happen in the first place, honestly. D, you so come see? on to me so all the time. Like, I, I don't even want you flirt with me. I don't even know your trust. I can't trust you. For a year. Yeah, that's that's in the past though. She but we've been through you back so much. Twenty six. Yeah. But Tanya, honestly, like you're you're childish. I can't deal with that anymore. <laughs> like all the things I want to do. You're only twenty. I'm twenty three. I'll be trying to go to the bar. I can't take you to the bar. We try to go out. I can't even bring you around Becca because you're not old enough. You always in this bad attitude. You always want to act like a bitch. Like, I can't deal with it. I'm childish. You're the one that wants to go to the club every other weekend, want to take this little girl's virginity, and I'm trying to go to school. Hold on, hold I'm on. trying to I'm save money. I'm going to take her virginity, okay? It's not, you're not it's not going to. Want to. <laughs>
I'm <clears throat> going to take it. And you're not going to stop me. Jerry's not going to stop me. The security guy ain't going to stop me. I'm not stop me. No, you're not. When did that become my job? <laughs> it is now, Jerry. Yeah. And you. You want to try to take my boyfriend just to take your stupid little virginity? At least he's going to have fun with it because he doesn't have... Oh! No. So, well, you've been friends, friends for so long. Friends. We've been together for a year. And he doesn't even think <clears throat> you exist. All right. This is, so the question is, is this someone you can really have a relationship with? Yes. Really? When things are good, things are good. But will he ever be faithful? He's been with you a year and a half, and he's willing to just come on the show and say, hey, yeah, I'll take you to I mean, look at her, Jerry. Come on now. If you love her, there's no one else to look at. He doesn't have much. But at least I'm trying to go to school. The only thing that you're trying that you're worried about is spreading your little legs and losing your virginity. Twenty fifteen. Who's hot? <laughs> Who's um, hot? he's my boyfriend. Oh! I didn't know, Jerry. Yeah, well, I know you. Here's Hobbo. <laughs> now we're back in the 1950s. Man, this sucks. I've been putting in the time and the work for what? So, mm -hmm. so he can do this? Like, what, what's even the point then? Well, he's actually special, and you know this is gonna be special to me. And like, you're not the one. You know what I mean? He, we have fun. You just only want to do what you want to do, and then you're so boring. Like, I will come over dressed sexy, and you don't even look twice at me because you're too busy with your stupid bike. Like, oh my god, I have a BMX thing. Oh my god, I have a contest. I have this. I have that. And then when it's my turn, like, you don't even care. Every time I invite you over, all you do is play these weird 90s opera videos. They sound awful. My friends think they're weird. I think they're weird. I don't even know how to judge it. Okay, well, at least I have culture. Like, I have a life. All you want to do is love your bike, and you don't even care about me. Like, that this is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be special. That's why I'm tired of your boring ass. I want the black hammer. She did say black hammer. Bikes is my passion. What do you expect? I have contests. I'm busy. I, I have to compete and keep doing to further my career Wait, in BMX. You're supposed to be my boyfriend. Like, we're supposed to, you know, we've done everything else besides sex. You know what I mean? And so I'm waiting for you to, like, show me, like, okay, this is it. You know, I'm going to have fun. I'm not going to regret it. You know, I've been waiting so long. I'm almost 22, and I've been waiting. And so now you just be like, uh, well, actually, I want to go ride my bike. That's pretty boring. You know what? I don't even want you anymore. He can have it. Oh. And you know what, Jerry? What? While I'm here? Yeah. I figure I might as well do some tricks for you guys. Yeah. Show, yeah. Show, yeah. show the people what I'm about. So, let, me, let me have all this. Not by her. No need to fight. There's enough Jerry Springer swag for everybody at StudioPromos.com. Erica says she needs to get to the bottom of a boyfriend's shady behavior. Erica, what's going on? Hi. Hi. So I'm here. I just found out that my boyfriend was trying to go on a blind date with yep. another female. Ooh. Yes. How did you find that out? 
Um, about a month ago, yeah. I was, um, he had went to the store and I was at home. He left his phone there. Yeah. So there's an unknown number that pops up. So yeah. I answer and it's a female voice. Ooh. So instantly I'm pissed. I'm like, sure. why are you calling? Yeah. So she tells me that a friend tried to set them up on a blind date. But we get to talking and she tells me her name and I'm like, wait, what's your last name? She tells me her last name and I've known this girl since I was 10 and 11 years old. Like we literally, oh. yes. I'm pissed. I'm pissed at this point. So um, I keep talking to her, and I get off the phone with her, and then he comes in. Ooh. So I'm like, I'm pissed, Jerry. I'm, sure. I'm so yeah. pissed. So I'm, I asked him, I was like, so why are you trying to be set up on a blind date? He tells me that it was the day that we argued and that he was upset and that he just needed to get away. So he, they... He, it, it comes out that he had actually had sex with her. He told me that he... Yes. I'm shaking. I'm so pissed telling yeah. you. Um, yeah, they had went on the blind date that they had got drunk at a bar. And they, they had sex in a car. In oh. a car. He didn't even have the decency to take her to a hotel. He had sex in a yeah. car in front of the bar, Jerry. Like, in the parking lot right there. Oh. So I'm here to confront him. Like, I'm pissed about this. Now, how I'm, long have you has he been your boyfriend? I'm sorry. We've been together four years. We oh, have wow. kids together. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. So like there's we, no excuse for this. Yes, we met, like, and it was love at first sight. I yeah. love this man with everything in me. Yeah. I love him so much. Like, I thought I would be with him for the rest of my life. And then he does something like this. He does Yeah. I don't understand how I could do this to him. Well, that's fine. Oh, Ashley is this girl that you knew. Yeah, she's the whore. Yeah, is that what it says? Uh -uh. <laughs> There's Ashley. Oh, thank you. Not, oh, She's is not that coming her? out? You're not coming out, bitch? You're that scared? You're that scared? Come out! Quit being a punk! Come out! Fight me! Fight me! <laughs> who does that? Who, who has sex with somebody's man and then won't even come out and, and face me? Yeah, that's strange. Here is, well, here's your boyfriend, Joe. Mm. Boo! Yes, boo! All my friends hate you and... So what? what? So that's a reason to go have sex with that whore? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, so if you just get over it. It's a mistake. Yeah. You you just don't satisfy me. I don't satisfy you? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> you. Yeah. I mean, I'm we, tired we, of We've been together four years. We have kids together. You always nagging about so things. So what? And... Get off your ass and do something. I'm always doing something. Yeah. I'm working... I'm working 10 hour shifts. So what? 60 I hours work 24 7. You but think you four kids. You four think kids. it's easy? I, I'm sorry, Jerry. I don't mean to disrespect you. Oh, no. I'm just so pissed. <laughs> but four kids, wow. We do have four kids. Like, yeah. how could you do this? Yeah. What do you want to say to her now? I mean, I want to be with you. I want to make it work. I mean, I made a mistake. I just wanted to let you know I learned from it. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to change. You learned from it. Yeah. I was drinking. What are you, you going to change? What's going to be different? What are we going to do different that gonna you're not going to be out having sex with women? I'm not going to do none of that. I'm going to be with you 24-7 with the kids. You have my you full attention. You don't understand. You keep saying that you work and that's an excuse to go out and just have sex with the female. All I do, I cook for you. I clean for you. I take care of our kids. I have sex when you want. It, it's whenever it is. I like it's never been like, I, just, I don't understand I just I'm made a home mistake. 24 7 with our kids and I just want your attention we just want your attention you're amazing dad okay yeah that's okay but we need more we need attention I, I, when you come home I'm from tired. work you go out with your friends not all the time Jerry, that was, that was there was time. a time that he went out nine hours, nine hours in a day because we argued. Okay, Jerry, yeah, yeah. he just went out. He wanted to take a trip to 
wherever he went with his friend, the same friend that hooked him up with the whore. Oh, I see. Yeah, probably. We're, we're not friends anymore, so I'm done with that person. You're not friends, make, why? Make because. Your make your point. Because I want to be with you, I want to show you that you're the only one I want. You love me? Yes, I don't. I can't see myself without without you. Then why would you do this? How are you going to show us? I'm, I have a surprise for you, and I would need you to help me out, Jerry. Can you follow me? I'll follow you. Come on. <laughs> Should I call home first? <laughs> Where are we going? Follow me. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the lobby. Okay, Ed says he hopes his wedding day will be a day of joy, not pain. Aww. Ed, what's going on? Well, I'm here to marry the love of my, my life. Oh. Um, she has no idea this is happening today. I wow. have the dress, the flowers, the ring. I'm Thank here God in this we have tux. A coat rack. Yeah. And I am ready to get this happening. Oh, that's very nice. Well, that is sweet. How long have you known her? Uh, we've been together for about a year and a half. Yeah. And how soon after you met her did you figure out, wow, this is the one? Probably the day I met her. Oh, so it was instant. It was, it was like... instant love. Yeah. Now, uh, do you have a uh, child with her? Yes, I do. We have a beautiful six-month-old daughter. Oh, well, congratulations. That's great. Oh, there's the picture. Very nice. Yes. And you decided to get married on our show. Yes, her, her big dream was to get married in Las Vegas and at Caesars Palace, but I thought, what's better than getting married on the Jerry Springer show? All right, well, good luck. I'm, we're glad to have you here. And uh, her name is Alexis, right? Yes. Here is Alexis. about the wedding there's no wedding there's no me and you i can't do it no more what happened i mean why why like i love you you're my everything like you mean so much to me just from the first day i saw you you just i knew it was true my love at first sight you just it hurts me to see you do something like this you want to play innocent you want to tell everybody how you are i mean i give you chances you cheat on me you cheat on me when i was pregnant you cheat on her when he cheat on you when you were pregnant yes not once but twice oh. now you bring this up now you throw this <laughs> in my you took my baby you took my baby around your ex you had her watch her it's getting worse I just want one chance, just one chance. I give you I messed chances. up. I know I, I messed up. I give you up. chances and chances. You break them. I give you, pro you break all your promises. You but, haven't proved nothing to but me But nobody yet. will be there for you like I am. Nobody will be there for the kids like I am. Yeah, you, you look pretty and everything, any, any man, but it's about the kids. It's about the kids. I will be there for the kids. I want to be there for my daughter's first smile. I want to be there for my daughter's first steps. I want to be there to take my daughter to school every day. I want to be there to help her tie her shoes. Aww. My daughter means everything to me. <clears throat> well, assuming that, you know, this is all powerful stuff, but then why do you keep cheating on her? I mean, it was just <clears throat> something out of the blue. I was trying to get over her. She, lead, she leads me on and tells me she loves me, and the next day she hates me. She tells me that I ain't ever going to be nothing. So, I mean, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? I try to prove to her every day that I am that man. Has and he try changed? To step up. No, he has not changed. He keeps, I keep giving him chances. He hasn't proven nothing to me yet. So why am I going to be with somebody that don't prove nothing? When was the last time he cheated on you? Mm. Is this something you got to tell him? Oh, well, yeah, I found out that she slept with my friend, Bella. With Bella? Well, let's meet her. Okay. Oh. 
So what do you got to say? What? You want me to apologize? Yes. For I what? Want you, because you slept with my, my baby dad. Like my I'm not going to apologize to you, Lexi, for real. Dude, you talk so much about him. So much. Oh, he does this. Oh, he does that. I can't stand him. This and that. You roll your eyes. Every time he comes by, he tries to give you love. You don't give him no love. All right? So what do you expect? Do you want to be with him? Yes, I do. Oh, talking. Seriously? Now you want to work things out with her? I, I mean, for real? The sex was good and everything, yeah? but I. Just, oh. My feelings in my heart from Alexis and Already. my family. Yeah, but when he goes to the club and he's like, "Oh, Bella," and he calls me at three in the morning, "Oh, Bella, this, oh, Bella, that," are you serious? It didn't mean. You nothing. say Bella this, Bella that. <laughs> it didn't mean nothing. I, I was just trying to get over her. You were there, you know. It was it was good while it lasted. Oh. And my heart, my family is for my family. No. Sex with whoever, if that's even what was happening. I'm sorry. Hey. You know what time it is. Oh, I'm I know sorry. what time. It is. I'm sorry. I know what time it is. Right. So, like, you think you came out here acting like this is a game? Is it a game? It's not a game, but you already know my situation. I've been locked down in the house for a whole year. Yeah, me this too. Right along with. That don't have nothing to do with me. I didn't tell you to stay with me. You chose to do that. And if you want to talk about all the things I say to you, I say that stuff to make you stronger. Do you? Yeah. Like me having herpes makes me stronger? Yeah, yeah. I say, I say okay. stuff like that just to see how you react, just yeah, to see why? if you're going to crumble. Yeah, not, that's, well, that's real cute. that seems pretty strong. I mean, if you want, don't want to be with her, you don't want to be with her. But why would you put on Facebook something like that? I mean, I was, that really hurts her. Because I was angry with her, Jerry, okay. honestly. And are you angry because she, what, cheats on you, or? I'm angry about all kinds of stuff. Like, yeah. she can send me a text message. If I don't text her back within five or ten minutes, I'm with the next woman. I've been in the house, stuck on house arrest. Yeah. Like, who wants to deal with that? And then she nags and stuff like that, and she yeah. acts so immature, and then she's mad because I want to go do something once I get out of house arrest. She's not even 21, so she can't come. Yeah. So basically, you put on some pampers. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that a lot. Okay, I didn't, you didn't choose to do that? You didn't tell me to stay with you whenever you was on house arrest? You didn't? I told you to stay with me because you know okay, I so love why, you. Okay, so why was the two women in my life that because I, love I finally oh, left? He does, you do love her. I do love her. Oh. With all my heart. It shows. It shows. It really does. It's like you like seeing me like this. It's like you like seeing me cry. You like seeing pain in my eyes. I don't know. And you like, it's like you take advantage of me only opening up to you. Because you know that at the end of the day, I really whenever don't like you hurt you me. Upset. I really don't like seeing you upset. But like I told you, you know what time it is. You know my situation. You know what I've been through. I'm sorry that I wanted to get out and have a nice time and stuff like that. My friends knew of her. I went and spoke with her and stuff like that. It wasn't even supposed to lead to that, but she told me that she wanted... But it is. She told me that she couldn't make it home because she was too intoxicated. Who are you? I invited Tell her to come to my house. I invited her to come to my house. I offered her a t-shirt and it's some shorts. I went, stayed in the, in the living room for a minute, and a minute. finally got curious. Walked back towards my room about 20 minutes later. Seen she was standing in the bed, laying in the bed or whatnot, watching Netflix, so. And you said you wanted your shorts back. Pretty much. I asked her if I could come and, come and take them off of her and put them back on myself, so I wanted to wear them. That's cute. That's really cute. I can't believe you. After, like, you, you do all these things to me, why keep me around? You gonna do things like this? Like you said, you are 21, and if I'm so immature, why, the, why have we been together? Like, there must be, I must be not be too immature. I like the things you do oh, for do me. Oh, do you? But I, I thought I was immature. I am appalled. Uh, like, not so much you, because this is, this is what you do. This, that's what you do. <laughs> you, like, why, why do you keep me around for? I do love It's you. fun, isn't it? It's real fun. It's not fun seeing you upset. It's like, not. okay, so then, why is the post still on Facebook that I have that? 
I don't check my Facebook like, like that. Like, why, do you, why would you want, okay, if Are you, you gonna take him back? Depends. You know I love you. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. Like I said, I sat on house arrest a whole year. I wanted to get out and be free, be free bird, whatever you want to call it, do something with no strings attached. I've done that, I got that out of my system. I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to make things right. Like what? Would you take the herpes off your Facebook? She don't have, she don't, yeah, I'll do that. She don't have herpes, I, I was mad. Can you take mad. it back? Let's say he does that, he takes that off. You, want, you love him. You know I love you. Tell me how much you love me. I love you more than anything. Proposed to me at KFC. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Well, that, that's about as romantic as you can get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, so you were there uh, in line? We was eating. Yeah. After we ate, he proposed to me, oh, you know. Is, is he more of a breast man or a thigh man or? Uh, he likes his breast. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the white meat. And, um, <laughs> and so he asked you right there. Were you shocked that he asked you right there? Yeah, I was. I really was. I mean, you guys are sitting there, you're eating, and then d does he say, there's something I want to ask you, or was it just part of the conversation? He... And, and he says, yeah, yeah, why don't we get married? Flowers came in. Oh, at the, at the KFC. Yeah, flowers oh. came in. It was, it was romantic, you know. Yeah. We don't have much money, so he couldn't get the ring, so we got matching tattoos. Yeah, well, good for you. Oh, well, that's very nice. That, that's very nice. Good for you. I hope it all works. Uh, next name is Danielle. Who's Danielle? You know a Danielle? That's my cousin. Oh, that's your cousin? Yeah. Oh. oh, well, that's good. Okay, well, here's your cousin, Danielle. Hey, Angel, I know I'm your cousin, but... I made this video for you on your wedding day. Angel, I know we're family, but I had sex with your guy, Nick, and I want you. The first time I hooked up with Nick, he kept slapping my ass, and I kept calling him daddy. I love sex, I love being groped, and I all day. Give me more, Nick. Give me more. Oh. oh, I better get away. Oh, you're gonna eat some cake? Did you have any idea he was he would do something like this? Cheating has not been a problem with him, has it? Oh. Do you feel badly that you're hurting your cousin? I mean, there was... Well, let's bring him out. This is unbelievable. Here's Nick. I've only had sex with two people. I'm 18, and I ain't been, never been with a big girl, a big and she's girl a really big girl. Yes. And I just wanted to see what it was like. You wanted to see what it was like? To be, have sex with a big girl. Yeah, have sex with a big girl. And uh, what exactly was it like? I didn't like it, no. You said you loved it. No. 
so do you love me? Yeah. You I love me you. and you want to marry me? Yeah. Are you going to ever cheat on me? No. You... Well, uh, were you already engaged to her when you had sex? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you go to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. Have a meal, very romantic. You bring flowers. You ask her to marry you. And then you go out and have sex with someone else because you wanted to know what it was like? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to marry me? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Will you marry me? Oh. Oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is that the best we can do with flowers? <laughs> okay. Nick, I love you so much. The day I met you, I knew you was the one that I wanted oh, to spend. Oh, this is not going to go well. No. <laughs> Classier than ever. We don't really have a comment, but we want her to be. <laughs> Excellent question. <laughs> Hi, um, my question is for the depressed George Lopez over there. <laughs> bro, bro, why would you want to waste your time with this one when she got the biggest jugs in this building right now, bro? My question, my question is for the big girl, the bridesmaid. Why are you throwing cake wasting when you know you really wanted to be eating it? My question's for the dude with the dreads. Do you know that your side hose is a smurf? Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back with Jerry's final thought. Jatana, you're a friend, and, and you slept with him as well? Yeah. In your bed, too. I don't care if you guys are getting married or not. Oh! I'm still going to have sex with him. Why? No longer with towards you and towards him so I can get closer. I don't care about you or your feelings. Oh! And we're going to have rough sex. And Jerry, you want to drop that beat for me? Oh! Yeah. What? What exactly did I drop for you? <laughs> okay. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't seem, just as a casual observer to what's going on, it doesn't look like you're really committed to her because you're obviously sleeping around. I want no, to be what, what happened? You want to be with him? I want to be with him. Well, what do you want to tell us? She's saying she wants to be with you. What All this has been saying, why? You want to leave them for me and then you want to say you're going to leave her? We're just friends, nothing else. That's it. So you're not going to take it any farther? No. We're just friends. With, we're just friends. That's Why all. Why all the talk then? Like, you keep talking and talking. Why was... all the late night talks, the trampoline, the video games, everything? The trampoline? We've, we've known each other ever since we were eight. And yeah. she moved away to Florida, and she came back one day after a hard breakup. So I tried to do the right thing, make her feel better. Oh, you did the right thing, boy. <laughs> and All night, last month, we did it hours on end. 
We had, I was just trying to make her feel better. We had sex That's in the garage. Making me feel better. Well, wait a second. Look, you're a young man. You, you make your own choices who you want to be with. But you're saying you want to marry her, which is, doesn't seem that you're very sincere about it if you're sleeping with other people. Because you're saying she's a friend, but you don't want to be with her. Right. And you can't believe it. But why not? He's sleeping around with everybody. Why do you think you're the one person that he would be honest with? He's a playboy. Because I know him since I was like eight and we did so many things together. We had like so many memories. We could make so much more. I cook, I cook you dinners, steaks, potatoes, everything. I clean dishes, mop the floors, clean the bedroom, do your laundry, and what else do I get? This I'm sorry. sorry. No, that's okay, but that sounds like housekeeper stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's a good look. It's hard to find a, a good housekeeper, but this isn't love. Do you love her? Because here's the, yeah. this is where we started out. Look, I love you. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. I was just, I was stupid. I don't want to be with any of them. I want to work things out with you. That's all I can say, really. You obviously didn't care about my feelings when you're. I was thinking with the wrong head. I mean, that's all I can really say about that. But I am sorry. And I do care about you and I do love you. I can't tell. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, but twice. No, for more. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even call this a mistake. I'd call it a choice. Well. Obviously, you picked a bad choice with you. Says a tramp. At least I could do more things than you can. Obviously, does he tell you that you ride really well? Yeah, he does, and I, I do yeah, it all I highly, night. I, I highly doubt that. Too. I highly, what do you do? I be lazy like a slob, don't even take showers? I do take showers, thank you. Oh, I love okay. you. I all right. Know. This relationship doesn't much matter in, in terms of what's going to happen here, because the issue is, who are you going to be with? You would like to be with her, yes, but like you're saying... Her. Yes, or you say, I can't trust you, move on. I'm saying I can't trust you. Well, I, I'm, I can work on it. I'd like to be with him, Jerry, but yeah. obviously, if you're going to do this when we're married, what are our kids going to think? I'm going to drop all this when I'm married. Then why'd you do it in the first place? I wanted to experience stuff before I got married. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but... Brittany, what's going on? So I'm here today to put my cousin in her place. Oh, what did your cousin do? So this is where I started. Me and my baby daddy have been together a little over four years. We yeah. have this beautiful little boy. He's two years old. So this is a serious relationship. Yes, most yeah. definitely. Very nice. So there was this party back home. Yes. It was super big. Me and my boyfriend had got invited. We were supposed to go, but I didn't have a babysitter, so I didn't end up going. Yeah. So I was trying to be nice, let my boyfriend go to this party because he really wanted to go. Right. So he went, and he just did not come home. Oh, not so a good sign. I'm texting and calling to make sure he's okay because I'm yeah. worried about him. He didn't come home. Yeah. So no answer. I just go to bed thinking he's just going to come in late because he's at a party. So I went to bed the next morning, I woke up, and he still had not come home. Oh. So I'm calling, texting. At this point, I'm overheated. Can't get a hold of him. I'm yeah. driving around. I'm looking for him. And as I'm driving, my friend calls me, and she was like, the party was great. I wish you would have been there, but oh. I need to tell you something. Oh. So I was like, what's up? She was like, I have seen your boyfriend and your cousin kissing all night long. Oh. <laughs> Nothing worse than a kissing cousin. And they were feeding each other fruit out of the fruit bowl from the party. Oh. So they're on a health kick as well. Yes. Yeah. So at that point, I'm done. I'm mad. Oh, so sure. I'm speeding. I'm looking for him. So I ended up finding him at his homeboy's house. He's asleep, passed out. And guess what I seen? What? His hands were stained red. Oh. So I wake him up and I'm like, 
Who were you with last oh, night? Oh, you think it's from the fruit? Yes. <laughs> so I wake him up and I ask him, why is your hands red? He was like, they had got sunburnt. <laughs> I'll admit, that's stupid. Yeah. I know, I'll tell you. Okay, so obviously his hand had been in the fruit bowl. Right. So I'm here to put this hoe in her place. <laughs> oh, the doorbell. I'll get it. <laughs> Wonder who this could be. Oh, it's a delivery. For Brittany. Oh, for Brittany? Thank you. Uh, I got it. Oh, my. Oh. Here's... Where's... Oh, there's a note there. Yeah, what does it say? We had sex. I'm just... Re I'm just reading a note. That's not me talking, no. Oh, so, oh, so this is probably from her, the fruit. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, you got it? Yes. Well, let's bring her out. Here's Kaylin. Bitch, you ain't gonna do nothing bet, with that. Bet, I dare you. His name's Tim. You well, like Tim. you know what? His nickname for me is oh. So, yeah. that's what I do. Why don't you tell us That's okay, because you know what? You know what? That's okay, because Tim likes me wet. So, you got me wet. Thank you. Oh, we'll see. Okay. All right, here's Tim. I didn't think you were going to find out. <laughs> We've been together four years with a baby. What were you thinking? With this fat hoe? That is disgusting. Nasty. That's my family. Well, you're how could you, how you, how could you do that to me? It doesn't matter. That does not make it okay for you to go and have sex with that woman. Well, you don't ever show me an affection. You're never there for me. Like, you, like everything I do for you, you never appreciate it. My question's for the guy in the blue flannel. Uh, what's your favorite Justin Bieber song? Cold water, because that's always how I take my showers. Just I came for my Jerry Bees. Yeah! Uh, 
this question is for the um, fake MGK. Why would you go and mess with Ursula? Why would you mess with Ursula from The Little Mermaid when you got her at home? Let's go. And for the last time, where the melons at? You lying, girl. Uh, my question is for the dude in the plaid, the blue plaid. Why are you messing with uh, three little pigs? Because I'm Native American and I love buffalo. I got a question for uh, Miss Piggy on the end over here. First off, I just want to say I got no ass that I can still twerk better than you. Second off, do you get off on being on the record? <laughs> the girl with the red hair, the cherry girl. Um, honey, he wasn't touching your because your has been gone for a long time. I'm younger. I'm younger than you. I'm younger than you, Grandma. Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back with Jerry Spider. I just got married on Facebook Live. That was his one girl. She began to laugh all y'all. Marriage is fake. I had sex with him. So this is true? You know so you telling me? Baby, so you telling me? Baby, I thought you were sending That is What does my weight have to do with anything? No, I got a little bit more pressure for the question, baby. I'm cute like a girl wig. Okay? And cow. What? No. No. Oh. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you fought for so long to be with me, and you're gonna throw it away for some trashy hoe? Yeah, I but you know, when I got with you, after I moved in with you, everything went to hell. Like, What's you're so up? immature, you, your friends are over till 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, I can't get no sleep, all you guys do is cause drama, all you wanna do is go through accuse me, you wanna sit there and flirt with all your little lesbian friends? Like, how does that make me feel? Like, what am I supposed to do? You don't want to have sex with me? What am I supposed to do? I don't want to have sex with you? At least I'm not having sex with the girls that come to my house. Because I could be. I gotta get paid somehow. <laughs> Apparently you're not getting paid. You're... you're how, is that, how, is that, how is that payment? You want to get a, you want to get a car? Yeah, how do you well, want to get a I'm not what I want you from you, so me? I gotta get it for somebody have, else. Well, well, so, Chico, so you went over there... Uh, because she wanted a tattoo, and you charged her, and what happened? Uh, I told her, you know, how much it was, and she yeah. told me that she didn't have that money, but, oh. you know, she would, like, oh, so have you sex with me for her instead. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you leave a tip? <laughs> did she leave a tip? No. Okay. Uh, so there you go. That's how that happened. What's going to happen now? Do you still want to be with her? I do. Who's, who's Bailey? Just a really good friend of my wife. Well, here's Bailey. Tibby, I need to tell you something. What? Remember that tattoo Scott gave me? Yeah, what about it? So I didn't have enough money to give him because I had to pay my rent. So instead, I gave him a oh. Well, apparently, you didn't know him as much money as you did. <laughs> like, seriously, how could you do this? I love you. Like, you're my best friend. I stood up for you through everything. Everything that you've been through, I've been there for you. And you go and do that, knowing how I feel about him? I'm sorry. I know you. Before anybody else did. I can't even believe you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Does this... Uh, this business you have, yeah, I, I can see you're, you're a good tat artist, uh, but this is how you get paid quite a bit, isn't it? Sometimes. Do you really think that's okay? No. Sexual favors for tattoos? When we're supposed to be getting our life together? Again, I wouldn't have to do any of this if you would just treat me a little bit better. Spend some more time with me, show me. How can I spend time with you if you're always gone? Apparently having sex with stupid tramps. All the time. 
quit having them over all the time. Spend time with me. You're always with your girlfriends. I'm always out though. I don't need to know positions. What I <laughs> Unless, uh, unless you're doing a tattoo at somebody else's house, I'm always with you. I give you all of my attention all the time. I let you move into my dad's. Like, I drive you around when you need places to go. You don't got cigarettes, you don't got no money. I do that. Does that bitch? Does she? I don't think so. I fight for you. I do for you. Nobody else does. Do you think this little 18 year old tramp is gonna do what I've done for you? I don't think so. I can do that. You are worthless. Can you just shut up? <laughs> Think that you're all that cute. The only reason you get half the people that you do is because you're such a whore. No, I'm cute. I'm sweetie. I'm, I mean, oh, and I'm, I'm gorgeous. I am gorgeous. Where? Where? All over. Where do you keep it? At least where do you keep it? Are you fat? What's up? Where? I mean, so what if it's there? At least it's there. Cause you know what? Your personality makes you an ugly. And you think you think you're, but you're really not. You're a nasty poor. I am though. You really are. At least you can admit it. Uh, <laughs> what's going to happen here? Are you two going to stay together? <clears throat> Honestly, I'd like to. Well, I yeah. After high school, we yeah. hung out at a party, and after that, we just started kicking it every day. Even oh, well, good. So then, as he grew up, yeah. you all of a sudden said, "Hey, he's a nice guy." Good. Not nice. There's a difference between cool and nice. And oh. He's st But. Yeah. <laughs> he's a cool <laughs> I guess. But he's my <laughs> He and I started hanging out all the time. He yeah. became my best friend. We did everything together. Oh, well, that's cool. Between, okay, that's good. You know, work, cleaning, small yeah. stuff like that. Yes. All the time. I ended up just moving in with him. He asked me because of my home life. And we... I don't know. We're just connected. You know what I mean? So he's really a good friend. Yes. And okay. there's been this whore lately that's been sticking around way too much compared to the others. And I'm pretty tired of it. I, she's lazy, ignorant. She doesn't understand a damn thing we're talking about. I, I, I just don't but understand that, why he even, what he sees in her. You know what I mean? But isn't that his business? Not when I'm I mean, if he too. asks you, he says, what do you think of it? You may say, well, I'm not really that impressed. But if he likes her, why let him like who he wants? I, I guess. clean up after her. I'm oh. cooking for her. Like, oh, someone geez. that just lays around and does nothing is not of value to oh. me. So yeah. I'm here to explain to him. I don't think she's really he, worth You're it. going to tell your friend he should dump her is right. basically it. Well, How long have they been together? They've been hanging out for a month or two now. Oh, okay. But one day he went to work and now I was at the house by myself. She came over to wait on him and uh, we were drinking. We said sex and what? At, well, she wasn't that lazy that day. You think she did any of the work? I mean, so you had sex with his girlfriend? Yes, and I regret it because oh. I feel like it betrayed him. Yeah. I'm not really worried about how she feels, but I mean, I, I, I feel like I need to tell him. Yeah. So you're going to tell him that you feel badly, but you did sleep with his girlfriend? Yes. Then it's going to be pretty difficult for you to say you should get rid of her. I mean, would you want to keep the whore that slept with your best friend? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Don't make me make a decision right here. No, of course not. So, uh, she's been watching backstage. Here's Missy. Um, excuse me, we said we wouldn't tell nobody. He's my best friend. The loyalty is towards him, not um, you. We just started dating. We didn't even, well, talking, I should say. We didn't even, like, make ag any agreement or anything of us being together. You're around the house way too much, and 
It, you're a nuisance in a sense. I'm tired of constantly picking up after you, cooking for you, cleaning for you. I mean, I may be his bitch, but I'm definitely not yours. Oh, so you're his bitch? Uh, wait, 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 are you, are you saying that you have a romantic interest in him? Not a romantic interest, romance. Everybody thinks it. You, oh, I mean, they can think what I they mean, want, but I know what my does when I see him and it's not getting Yeah. Yeah, well, to be honest with you. Oh, thanks. Thanks for clearing that up. Uh, <laughs> but you, you, you are interested in him. Yes, I like him a lot. Yeah. We've been, we've been talking, and then now we actually are getting serious, and that was a how, big mistake. Yeah, how did that happen? That you two, because I mean, kind of drunk, and uh, horny, I guess. <laughs> so. He was there. It happened. Right, horny. You could tell he didn't know what he was doing the whole three seconds. Hey, I had a good three seconds. <laughs> well, yeah, look at me. <laughs> but I do have a question. Are you gay? Uh, because, you know, the way you dress, you have these like smurf shoes. You, they're like capris. And then the way you talk, like you think you're so smart. Nobody needs to read the dictionary every day. I mean, you didn't really bitch about my style when you hooked up with me. Okay, this is love. Uh, <laughs> let's bring out Draven. <laughs> that was the okay. biggest... Okay. Oh. Yeah, go... No, go ahead. That what? was the biggest mistake. I mean, it was right in the beginning. We were just talking. And I think he, like, really got me drunk that bad. And the sex was really bad. But, uh, I really regret it. And I really want you to forgive me. We have so much in common. You're, like, the honest guy of ever. I've never had anybody like you in my life. I'm really sorry. I hope you forgive me and we can move past it. Oh, okay. You can find a whore anywhere, bro. Like, I swear. Like, oh, we, I, I swear we can go I'm to Walmart it. and find I wish 10. you were a girl. I like, just smacked the hell out of you. What's... So you want me to be mad at him when you cheated? He didn't cheat. I mean... We were just, we didn't even make it official. We weren't even, like, talking like we were official. We just started. I waited for you at your house. He had to bring in alcohol. It's like he did it on purpose. It's like he wants you. Hey, I know we got drunk plenty of times together in our <laughs> so I mean. <laughs> he does have a good point. I mean, that's surprising. Okay, uh, so what do you say? At least he... Three seconds were fun. <laughs> I mean, so you good luck with that. Well, tell. And uh, uh, tell me about this woman. So her name's Michaela. Michaela. You know, I've known her for about four years, basically since the beginning of high school. Yeah. But she's she's always had a boyfriend. Yeah. And you know, so we you know we were always best friends, but I got friend zoned. You know. Yeah. But. Yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to fix. That. Oh, now you want, you know, you're gonna actually yeah. let her know how you really feel. You want to I be mean, more than friends. I yeah. mean, I've already told her that I'll, you know, I've, I've confessed my love to her yeah. on a couple, a couple different occasions. And she, when she finishes laughing, what does she say? <laughs> no. no, what does she, she did say? Laugh when you... She did laugh once. No, but um, you know, it's just like thanks. You know, I don't feel that way right now, or yeah. something about you know her being. She's with being somebody honest. Else. I mean, sometimes. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. honesty is the best policy. At yeah. least she's not trying to make me feel bad or anything. Yeah. You know. But, you know, that, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make her Now, how do often that. do you see her? How well do you oh, know Oh, okay. Well, we actually work together. And oh. I'm actually her boss. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We, uh, we, we work at a coffee shop. I'm the night shift manager. And we, we work pretty, pretty consistently throughout the week. Oh, so, I see. Yeah. So I'm always talking to her and stuff. 
So you're flirting with her at work. Yeah, we that sexual tension's been building. Yeah, yeah. And we actually did uh, have sex. Once, what? Once. Yeah. It, it wasn't just a very spectacular moment, but I mean, it was it was very important to me. Yeah, it was in the parking lot of the coffee shop. It was in the back by the dumpsters in the back of her car. Oh. It was a four-door, though. It was well, it a four-door. It was either there or on the beach someplace. Under oh, the yeah, sky, you know, hours A very away. romantic place by the dumpster. Yeah, you know, <laughs> got to get dirty somehow, right? Yeah. So you're here today to kind of make it more official and yes. say, hey, in front of the country, yes, I love you. in front of I everybody. Wanna... All right, well, let's meet her. Um, well, well, this... well, before we meet her. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't her, mean to go favorite... ahead with my show. Oh, that's fine. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But her favorite coffee is a caramel macchiato, so that's yes. what mm. I got right here. Yeah, that looks and good. And yeah. I got, I made her this little thing. It says, uh, dating is a grande event, and I would like it a latte if, <laughs> uh, if you would be my girlfriend. And then, you know, Alex and Michaela. Yeah. With a little heart, 2K17, you yeah. know. So that's 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 what I'm gonna give to her. It's mm. beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well let's bring her around. Good luck. You seem like a nice guy. Thank you. Thank you. Here is Michaela. So this is your favorite drink, the uh, caramel macchiato, right? And um, I, I also made you this, you know, dating is a grande event, and I would like it a latte if you would be my girlfriend. Aww. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's for you. But, um, you know, I've, I've felt a very strong way about you for a long time, and when you moved, I honestly thought it was just lost. And then you moved back, and you moved back single, so it was a little bit better. And um, <laughs> then, you know, you got the job with me, and, you know, we, you know, and I, I would really love it if you would be my girlfriend. That's just so sweet. <laughs> kind of like that drink. <laughs> Honestly, I've had these feelings for you, too. <laughs> I've had them for years and they've just been building up and I just I don't know what to do Ooh. with having a baby daddy and having my daughter because I have that family there I know I'm not with him but I still have that let's see like why would you even think about him because like he's he, he's a loser like he can't hold down a, he, he, he can't hold down a job you whenever y'all were together you basically took care of him like like he was your kid and I mean you know I've I've picked you up and watched you cry because of him I've gotten you ice cream because of him and that's I know, you picked me up in the middle of the night, helped me sneak out of my house. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Many times. Many but times. what are you going to do? You have a girlfriend, and you oh. just moved into... Like, if she'd be your girlfriend? Yeah, I would. And I'd move out? Yeah. I think I'd would. stay. Why would you stay? I like your sister. We get along pretty well. I think I'll stay. You can move out. But I'm the one paying the bills. And how long has this been happening? It only happened once. Just once? It only happened once. You sure? I'm sure. And how many times was that just once? Just just the one time. Oh, just the one time? And, yes. Wait, but you seem to be apologizing like you still want to be with her. Well, I mean, you know, I still care about her. You know, I yeah. mean, I, that's still a thing. Yeah, okay. So who would you, who would you want to be with? I mean, I rather be with Michaela. You know, it's kind of why I'm here. Yeah. Mm, you look so preppy over there. Because you know I'm winning your man. You're winning my man. Yes, I am. 
I've seen you come up to our word, sitting there, just with a resting bitch face. Every time you come in there, you never say hello to any of us. You never... Because I'm not there for you. I don't care if you're there for him. You could have the common courtesy and respect for other people to at it's least a say hello. It's shop. You could at least say hello. But you, it's your job to say hello. Okay, and you can say it back. Why? I'm not there to see you. It doesn't mean you have to be a complete bitch. What do you do? Oh. What do I do? What, but what are you? Better than you. Better than me. How so? At least I know what he likes to drink. You know what he likes to drink. Yeah, I do. I make there. it for him every time he comes there. Every time he comes, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's Michael? Michael is the father of my child. Oh, Michael is the father of your child. Here's Michael. Michaela, <laughs> I forgive you for everything, and I love you, and I love our child, and I want you to choose me. I don't know if I can do that. Why there's not? Been, there's been so many problems between us. We've been together for two years now. Broke up in November after our baby. And you just haven't supported me enough. You haven't been there enough. Alex is a sweet guy. And he gives me what I need. But you'd rather be with someone who cheats on his girlfriend? How do you know he's not going to cheat on you? Oh, you're so easy. <laughs> At least he treats me right. I've treated you right. In what way? What have you done for me? I've stopped drinking, sold my Xbox. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, what do you want to do? Uh, you're saying you want to be with her. Yes. More than your current girlfriend. Yes. Well, that doesn't sound like real commitment. You're telling her that you don't want to be with her anymore. Then tell her. Don't tell me. Here, yeah, tell me. I'd rather be with her than I'd rather be with you. It's not what you said yesterday. Whoa. Did you guys see? Yesterday, you loved the hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's I mean, no hell left in her. <laughs> she apparently did. So you had sex with her yesterday? Yeah. Okay, so just explain to me. If you know you're coming on the show to make a pitch to her, and you're having sex with your current girlfriend, did you not know that you were going to ask her today? It was a definite... It, I did know. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted to do. That was the reason I came here. Right. But then why did you have sex with her yesterday? It was there. Because it was there? That's all you are to him, a piece of ass. Whoa. So you, you want her? I do. You want her? I do. After four years of nothing. Just being completely in love with her. I'm taking my chance. You just have to understand. I do love you. I would not have been able to have sex with you if I did not love you. With this man, though, I do have a daughter. I do have a family started. And he has given up a lot. It's just all the chances I've given him. So you're saying no to him? I think I am. No, go ahead. But, uh, but I'm a semi-player. I play for Western oh. Reserve Scourge. Oh, you're a football player? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm a semi-pro semi player. Oh, and and the girls there. love yeah. me. The girls love me, Jerry. Um, I'm not only actually big up front, I'm flexible. You're Can I show you some? Yeah. 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 Jerry, 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 Jerry. Oh, 
So not only, you know, am I strong, but I'm quite flexible, too. Yeah, you just brought on a volcano right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, um, you're strong, you're flexible. Yeah, yeah I'm flexible, and um, yeah. I, I think I'm addicted to Facebook. You're gonna what? Oh, you're addicted to Facebook? Yeah. Like the pictures, like y'all know, like the new emojis that be at the bottom of the pictures, the little hearts. And, yeah. Uh, I love those. To use them. <laughs> love them. Like love them. Like it, like the the one my favorite is the emoji with the hard eyes. I put them on everything, Jerry. Yeah. Everything. But you my girlfriend are hates it. Yeah. My yeah. girlfriend hates it though. Yeah. She, oh, your girlfriend hates you being on Facebook. Yeah. She well, she probably it. thinks you're flirting with other people. No. Well, um, yeah. I, I I don't find it flirting though, Jerry. You I, don't? I, no. <laughs> a couple of hearts, you know. You know, yeah. a couple of hearts. Yeah, that's just being friendly. <sighs> Most of the time. I like the pretty eyes. Oh. It's, the, it's a catchy thing. Yeah. Right. But um, back to the reason I'm here. Yeah. I was chilling with my girl one day, and uh, things was getting, you know, over the Facebook. She didn't like it. Yeah. And uh, it blew way out of proportion. She kicked me out, and Ooh. it was real bad. So yeah. I'm like, you know, whatever. So, you know, I went over to my cousin's house, and you know, I, I'm addicted to Facebook. So yes. I'm going down, you know, and I see, like, this little thing in, like, these, this, this blue, like, I mean, you got to see it. You would love it. But um, you got to see it. But uh, I just, you know. See what? This little outfit this girl got on, she was oh, like... Oh, on Facebook. You're yeah, looking at various yeah, people yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. She's wearing a blue outfit. Blue outfit. It's oh. like the stuff. So I DM her, you know. And, um, you know, I, I smoke, you know... Uh, the camels? No, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> herb, herb, herb. So herb. I went over to her house. We rolling up and uh, I just happened to drop the weed. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't picking it up because I bought it. So she picking it up, Jerry, and I happened to look over and... My God. Oh. <laughs> My God. So, you know, you have So you, you've got the moves. Yeah, I mean... You want to look at a woman, you drop that weed. <laughs> Turn me on, baby. <laughs> yeah. But um, other than that, um, yeah, so I dropped the weed and... You ever heard of the spider position? Um, I know you're going to show me. Oh, <laughs> Well, it's, it's like, you know, my two feet down and my two arms down and then her two feet down and her two arms down. We were rocking it, though. She's tiny, so we, we was getting it on. But um, midway, you know, after we got done, my girlfriend, yeah. we've been together five years. Yeah. And we have a kid together. Oh, you're you're not doing the spider position with your girlfriend. This nah, was with I'm doing it with one. somebody I met on with Facebook. With a blue. Oh, yeah. oh, and yeah, now you're caught up in the web. Huh? Yes, yeah. <laughs> in the spider web, Jerry. Yeah. Yes. So you got to tell your girlfriend, or you feel obliged to tell your girlfriend I that feel... you were dishonest, that you cheated on her, yeah, but you I still mean... love your girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, but I have my reasons to cheat, though, Jerry. Oh. I mean, you know, she runs away with, you know, her little phone every now and then. And, yeah. you know, she blocks me on Facebook and yeah. she disappears for days. So, oh. I mean, I have my reasons, you know, I'm a man, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. I, I, I'm addicted to Facebook and I'm, you know, y'all love me, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Marissa, who's Marissa? Oh, um, that, that's the Marissa, spider woman? Yeah, that's the spider woman. Oh. <laughs> Here she is, here's Marissa. Jerry? Yeah. I wore your favorite outfit that you like. Yeah, that's so. the outfit. That's yeah. the outfit. You can get it any day now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a I was told you were a blonde. <laughs> All right, uh... So who is friends? This is not going to end well. We never been friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you have any? Did you have any idea that he was cheating on you? No. What do you want to say to him? 
Why'd you do this? What you mean? You do the same thing. You come home with hickeys on your neck and Ooh. you be out partying. You, 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 all your whole, all your friends is hoes. Hey, yours ain't? I mean, you, 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 I mean, all your friends hoes and then you hang with them and you go missing. I mean, what? what? You do the same thing. What, 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 what that mean? I mean, not you, really. Look, what, what's she the reason why I do it? You weed. do the same thing. So you end up dropping your pants? I dropped the weed. And your pants. Eventually. <laughs> well, well, he's saying you cheat on him as well. Yes, I did cheat on him before, but I have, I do have reasons. Yeah, you have what? I have reasons. Oh, she has reasons. I have reasons too, don't you? Matter of fact. missing you blocked me on facebook why did i block you i don't know i, I couldn't contact you You blocked because me. you cheated on me oh. 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 right there was that <laughs> yeah not really jerry yeah. i mean but you act like you sit here innocent like you you like 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 you just just mrs goody like you you be gone forever and then when i call your friends or your friends boyfriends they don't even know where they at like, how is that even possible? Okay, this just doesn't sound that serious to me. I mean, you guys have been together for five years. Yes. You have a child together. Yes. But it seems like you both just go your merry way. I can do that, Jerry. I love her. You do love him. She's serious. She does love you. I mean, I love you. I mean, I want to be with you. I mean, she ain't nothing to me you, but a hoe. Oh. I'm that hoe. You, you just that. kissed her. You ain't oh. say that. So here's the question. Do you love her enough? And you can answer honestly. Do you love her enough to stop sleeping with other women? Yes, Jerry, I do. I do. I do. You do love him. I can see that. I don't believe him. I mean, I'll stop cheating. I will. I, I love you. We got. I mean, we got. We got. We got a son together. Yeah, your son's going to see this eventually and say, "What?" what but are you're you guys not thinking doing? about him when you're cheating on him. How help? What, is he, what is he going to do when he get older? He going to act just the same way. I mean, I mean, I want to be with you. So, so I, I mean, so I'm done with that. I'm done with that though. Like, that was that okay. spider <laughs> was good though. <laughs> <Jared>. <laughs> It just doesn't sound like a real commitment if you're still thinking that was good. I mean, you... I mean, I, I love her, dude. I, I love, I love her, Jerry. I yeah. really do. I mean, we've been, we've been through a lot, you know. Yeah. And this happened, you know, back and forth. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm really to, you know, finally take my step, you know, and be committed, you yeah. know, like committed, committed. But it got to work two, both ways, Jerry. Yeah. Just like I said, I haven't cheated on you in years, and you just did this. You how, just slept with her. How, how long ago was this? It was like a week ago. Oh, oh wait a second. So you're telling me you just realized in the last week that you love her? She just blocked me the last week on Facebook. Well, you're going to have fights in the future. That's inevitable. So you're telling me that every time you have a fight, you're going to go and sleep with someone else? I mean, no. You'll always have an excuse. You'll say, well, she blocked me. She yelled at me. She called me a bad name. I'm going to sleep with someone else. I mean, no, I, I really do love her this time. I, I, I'll take it serious. He's flexible. <sighs> you gonna marry me? Ooh. High hopes for the future. Kendra, what is going on? Um, well, I just recently got back together with my boyfriend. We've been together for about a month now. Okay. okay. Well, that's good. Things have been going pretty good. How I'm, long had you been dating him before? Um, it's been on and off a lot for the last part of, like, I think the last, like, two years, two oh, and a half okay. years. Oh, okay. So it's a regular relationship. I mean, it's a solid one, but yeah. then you broke up, and now you're back together yes. again. Well, good. Okay. Oh. That's the doorbell. I'll get it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Is that for me? No, oh, it's for Kendall. 
Well, look what we have here to say. Yeah, Kendra. There you go. I got a present. Yeah, in the middle of the show, too. How did that happen? <laughs> Can I open it? Yeah, yes, because that would be the point. Of <laughs> so I'll help you. We open that. Yeah. Oh, well, it opens. How many? Could we have it a little? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll hold that. Yeah, okay. Ooh, what's that? That is a frame. Frame and everything. No, that's a frame. And what? Kendra and Daniel's love story. Let's just show it to the audience. What? What is that? Kendra and Daniel's love story. <laughs> and it has dates on it, right? So uh, Daniel stole Kendra's heart. That's Six, June, ten. Yeah, June tenth of twenty fifteen. Yeah, that's that was a really good day. That's when you met. Yeah, it was down. Yeah. It was down at the bike path. We were hanging out. Daniel made it official. That's Jul on July 4th with the fireworks, huh? Yeah, we were playing beer pong with my family. <laughs> and what and what did he say? He said, Yo, let's make it official. We'll... We were, yeah, he, that's exactly, he said that he wanted to make it official and he was tired of me not being his girl. Yeah, oh, well, that's nice. But... And what's the last day? Daniel broke up with Kendra. When we... <laughs> March, that's today. Yeah. March. What a, what a nice guy. Yes, yeah, well present. So he's breaking up with you today? Was there any You tell clue? me, Jerry, you brought me the present. The, <laughs> the doorbell rang. I was just being, <laughs> well, who's, okay, I just have names here. Who's Mariah? Well, that's just a friend of his. Well, here's Mariah. Can you take mine? Was that Kendra? Yeah. So, so, what do you think of my gift? You made that? Yeah, I made it. Pretty oh, cool. you made What's it. What's that about? Well, um, it clearly says that Daniel broke up with you. Well, Can he, he not tell you about this? He didn't break up with me. Mm, I think he did when he slept with me. When? Oh. when Okay, well, you don't know about the house I was going to move into him with, but we cleaned it out one day, and, you know, he's been telling me a lot of stuff about you guys, and I've seen it. I've seen the two of you together, and you just don't seem like a couple. You guys are on and off together all the time. So, and why is that your business? Uh, because Daniel's my friend, and I have respect for Daniel. I've known Daniel for, what, like six years, maybe? And that means you go and sleep with some other girl's man? Yeah, it does. When um, we have a connection, things got heated between us. We built the fort, actually. It was cute. It was really cute. We built you, the fort. We put towel or towels. You built we built a fort? We, yeah, we built a fort. Like children? Like children. Yeah. Because we have fun in a relationship. But you slept with him. we're not even him. together. You had sex with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I did. I did. More than once. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he is. Here's Daniel. What's going on? Uh, I had sex with Mariah. And Why? When? Like, and you're breaking up with me? Like... It was before we got together. It was, uh... Not what she's saying. No. Uh, Come on, Daniel. When we first got back together, I didn't know if we were going to last because of everything that's happened before, all the other times that you just went back. So and that's an years. excuse to go out and be a whore and sleep with some random bitch? It's not an excuse, I'd but... I'd be the whore. It's not an excuse, but it's, it's what I did. I tried... I, Try to do something to make me feel better. Try to do something to make me feel manlier. And it makes you feel manlier to go sleep with someone who's not your girlfriend. It makes me feel manly not to feel second best. It makes him feel manlier when um, I let him feel really near. You are very controlling and you take his spot. You take his role as a I'm man. controlling. You're the one telling me how I am as a person. You don't even I'm know entitled. me. I'm entitled. I'm entitled. Not how? controlling. How are you entitled? You don't, like, you're not my friend. You don't know me. Well, we don't. No, I know we're not friends. I'm friends do with you. Want, do you want to be with her? No. Oh. What? <laughs> you know. Okay. All right. So then, what did you want when we slept together? That's it. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't care about her and she means nothing, you don't want to be with her. Why would you throw away everything with us for a fling, for a one night stand, for sex that you could have gotten from me? Like what? Because it was mistaken. I didn't want it to really happen. It's just, I didn't want to throw away what I had with you. I just didn't know if we were going to last again. 
You didn't like my little picture frame, my little present that she made? That wasn't part of you? You didn't have anything to do with that? No. Daniel, you remember that fort, right? Yeah. Of the house we were going to move into? Because mm -hmm. I think you asked me to when we met the fort, we made the fort. And you said to me, I don't know how to get rid of Kendra. And then I started throwing out ideas, right? And uh, I said, a frame. And you even helped me. You helped me with that. So don't oh. say that you did it. I don't know why you're coming up with these lies. But I, okay, I'm not going to say I did sleep with you. It. it was a mistake twice. <laughs> it was two times. There's two different times. It was probably the best mistake you've ever made, right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more than a mistake if it's once. Like, one time is a mistake. Twice, and like, literally, you just said that you don't want to throw away everything. You said bra? 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 I love you. You've been a um, super fan. I am a cancer survivor, and I am the president of the itty bitty <laughs> committee. I'm <laughs> an hour from North Carolina. And we're here to get out. <laughs> you love when mothers and daughters get together. <laughs> Uh, I got a question for the Nicki Minaj chick. Can you get on that pole for me, please? Yeah, I got a question for the female in the blue. Listen, since the Hawaiian linebacker left you, can you show me the spider after the show? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Think about it. Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back with Jerry's final thought. <laughs> She won't let anyone take her man. Kiki, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I came here today because I'm really ready to beat her ass. Beat who? Yeah. Oh. Who's this little and why? slut bucket named Kiara. A slut bucket? Yes, yeah. slut bucket named Kiara. Yeah. Um, I love my boyfriend, Darrell. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? My kids love him. Um, part of my family loves him. How long you been with him? We've been together for a short period of time, two months. Yeah, but you, but you do really care about I him. I do care about okay. him. Okay, so what happened? I want to say about a week ago, yeah. um, he came to the house, shirt was ripped up. Uh, like the hawk just took his shirt and just, raw, just like ripped yeah. him up, you know? Yeah. So I asked him what happened. He gave me a story talking about him and his neighbor got into a fight, which yeah. I knew was a lie. Yeah. So I tried going through on his phone, and he changed his password. Oh, that's not a good sign. So when He's he changed his password, what, to Jerry, I Jerry? went... No. To what? <laughs> so I went to my Facebook and I looked up the girl that I last seen in his phone. He was writing on Facebook, oh. which is Kiara. Oh. So I inboxed her on Facebook yeah. and I was basically telling her, like, are you messing with Darrell? So she basically just cussed me out. Oh. So I went to her house. Yes. Did and she answer I kicked, the door? No, I kicked her door in. Oh. <laughs> kicked her door in. Oh, how long did you ring the doorbell before you did that? I didn't waste no time. Oh, you just kicked the door yes, in. because you were typing on Facebook like you were going to be my ass, so oh. here I come. And you knocked the door. Was she home? No, she wasn't home, so I took her laptop, I took her TV, I took her... <laughs> Her accessories. I took her shoes. I even got so petty. I took her bed rails from the bottom of the bed. <laughs> like I wasn't That's... playing no games. I went to the bathroom, snatched the curtains down. I trashed her house. I trashed her house. But you did that. That's that's stealing. It might be, but I got rid of a lot of stuff. I sold her TV for three hundred dollars, and I really I didn't care. I really did because she got back a, a a check for the house insurance. Yeah. So, oh, so she got the insurance back. Yeah, oh, the so. police will understand that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so you, uh, you got all this stuff from her because you were ticked. Then why are you here? To give back this stuff? Because I want to confront both of them. Oh. Both of Have them. Have you been with a, your boyfriend since that? Yes. And what has he said? He keeps denying it. Oh, but you told him what you had done? Yes. 
Yeah. He knew. But he, and he but, didn't. He act like he just doesn't care. He don't. He don't want to talk about it. Every time I bring it up, he wants to. Yeah. Just, oh, you always doing this? Okay, well that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, here is Kiara. What did he tell you about her? <sighs> Jerry, he told me that he wanted to be with me. You know what I'm saying? I love him. He loves oh, you me. you love it. How long have you known him? Well, we've known, been knowing each other for about a month or so. Oh, so and it's, it's kind of new. You yeah. know, we've been, you know, whatever. Oh, no, I, yeah, let's I say whatever. I know, no, yeah. whatever. But we've been thinking different things No, you can't say like that. that. <laughs> no, no, there, yeah. There, you, you know, and we really have built a relationship where, yeah. you know, he knows you know, he knows words to the favorite movies that I like. We plan on going to vacation and everything. Oh, so this I'm is trying love. To now, he love her when he tell me he love me all the time. Oh. Kara, what yeah. you fail to realize is he don't love you at all. In no shape How? from the way. He tells How? you what he want to tell you because you're a side piece. Okay. When That's you fine. came home, your door broken in? Yes, I did, and I called the police. Yeah, and what did the police say? <laughs> the police was asking me basically like, um, do I know... A couple months. It doesn't matter. How much can we go through in a couple months? It doesn't matter, Darrell. You should never gave me all the dreams. If you knew we weren't gonna be together, you knew you were gonna dog me. You know what I've been through. You know what I've been through, Darrell. You gonna see her do the same thing. What'd you expect? I'm a basketball player, man. I, I see, I see, I, I do this. This is what I, I see different women all the time. So she's not the only one. So she's not the only one. Oh. Okay, that's an intentional foul, two shots. <laughs> okay, if you can't be surprised that, I mean, did you ever think he was dating, you've only been together two months, did you ever think he was dating other women or going with other women? I, I tried to trust him, I didn't try to, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't yeah. really past him, yeah. but I just thought he was did different. You, did you tell her you loved her and this you, she was something special? You know, did you give her reason to believe that she was the only one? Yes, sir. I told her sweet nothings, but that's what we do. I tell everybody sweet nothings. Is that what basketball players do? I mean, that's what you got to do to get it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> You're not saying you want to be with her or you do want to be there or... I don't want her either. Oh. I told her the same thing. 
What did she say that you said we're going on vacation together? We're going to... She was supposed to be paying for it with the check. So that's what you do? You just go around using females? Where's your hustle at? My hustle is on the court. Your hustle like huh? that? <laughs> well, it's absurd that you're angry at her. I'm angry you're at both, both of them. Yeah, well, you're both... He's playing both I of don't them. even know her. Well, that's what I mean. I, so why are you angry at her? He's giving her the same... Because she's proud. She's proud to be a hoe. Yeah. Ain't nobody proud. Why would you be proud? You grown. Oh, my God. Uh, Who a hoe. gets why? engaged to a married man? Who? Why? If that's you, what you want? If you don't know me, how that's you know what you want? Business. I know your history. What I are you saying? I know my business. That's how I met so you. So you been checking me out and looking at me? What? What you doing all that for? Shut you up. knew he was a basketball player? Duh, that's why I wanted him. <laughs> Who's Daniel? That's my big brother. He always told me to leave him alone, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt. So when he come out here, he gonna beat your ass. Yeah! Here's Daniel. Grizzly bear, the protector of their young. Well, I'm the grizzly bear that's protector of my little sister. You think you intimidate me? You think you think because you cheating on my sister that I'm scared of you? Nah, that's wrong. You had no business hurting my sister like that. She did nothing to you. You got problems. Uh, you might as well go on somewhere with that grizzly bear story. Now you had no business hurting my sister, man. <laughs> All right. Bro, you just kicked me? You think you intimidate me? I'm known for dropping dudes like you. I'm four feet three. I'm known for dropping six three dudes like you. You ain't nothing. All right. Uh, okay. Got something to say? Bro, you kicked me in the leg? Damn right. I can do more damage than that. I can do way more damage than that. Did, you, did your sister tell you about the relationship they were having, or...? I knew from the beginning, when yeah. I first met him. Yeah. I knew from the first time that I saw him, he was a D.O.G., which is a dog. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> dog. Got it. Exactly. I don't know the whole story because I'm always busy. Yeah. And from seeing my sister going through the pain that she has with her last boyfriends, yeah. it startles me. Yeah. Because she's beautiful. Yeah. She don't deserve <laughs> Okay. And for him to do that to her, I'm, I'm, I'm lost yeah. for words right now. Dude, I just want to know why. Like, I've given you everything. I've done everything for you. It doesn't matter how long we've been together. I gave you everything. I gave you my heart. You knew what I went through in the past, and you still continue to lie to me. I didn't deserve that at all. I'm a good girl. Man, you... <laughs> yeah. Well, can't you... So give him a bath? Hey, yes, sir, but I mean, I work, I get off at 8 o'clock. You what? I get off at 8 o'clock at night, so mm -hmm. I mean, they should be already bath, fed, ready to go to bed. And so you, you kind of want to leave her? Yes, sir. So well, what have you done? Well, recently I cheated on her with our roommate, Deja. Oh. And I'm here to tell oh, her. Oh, they're roommates? Yes, you have sir. You roommates there. Oh, wow. So, uh, and how did the cheating come about? Well, uh, she went to work one day and brought the kids to my family's house. Uh, I got hungry and wanted to go to Taco Bell, so I asked Asia if she wanted to go to Taco Bell. Well, on the way to Taco Bell, we played a game called Strip the Diddle. <laughs> so. Strip the Diddle? Yes, sir. 
Is, uh, is that the kid's game when you, someone has a uh, headlight out? Yes, sir. So it's like, uh, say uh, you're driving down the street. Uh, you see a car without a, a headlight out. You uh, hit the roof and you yell, "Badiddle!" And the person you're playing against, they have to remove a piece of clothing. <laughs> well, we were on our way to Taco Bell. I seen a car without a headlight. Uh, I yelled, "Padiddle!" hit the roof, and she took off her shirt. And then we were driving uh, down the road a little bit more. I seen another one. Yelled, "Padiddle!" hit the roof again. She took off her pants. After driving down a little bit longer, we You must have been driving forever trying to find cars. That <laughs> oh, Taco Bell is a good... What, are you going to certain neighborhoods where people have uh, their headlights out? It's a good 30 minutes from the house, so... Yeah. Uh, we drove a little bit longer, didn't see any more cars, so I yelled it again. Yelled the deal, and she says, you can't do that, you're cheating. Well, I, then I said, well, I just wanted to see... <laughs> so, she takes off her bra and shows me... So, I pull over. Was it a red light or were you I uh, know, we were driving and she did it. And we pull over at the closest uh, little pullover spot. We had sex and after that we went to Taco Bell, got my mini quesadillas and head home. <laughs> so that's why I'm on the show to let her know that I cheated on. And you want to leave her? Yes, sir. You want to be with this other, the bediddle girl? No, sir. <laughs> just a one-time thing. It just happened, so. I would bring her out here, but if one of these lights go out, who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's, you sure you want to, you got two kids with her. You've been yes, with sir. her for four years. Yes, sir. The joking aside, you really think this is a good life decision and fair to your children and fair to... Uh, just because you want I mean, it's be... pretty immature to go around playing the diddle. You yeah, but, I mean, she complains too much. It's, it's, it's either, it's, if it's not her way, it's nobody's way. It's, it's, it's too much complaining. I got tired of it after four years. I try to sit her down, talk to her about okay. it. And it's just not working out. Yeah, she, I mean, she says that, oh, I'll get it to work out and everything, but then it, it never happens, so I got tired of it. Well, here is your fiance. She's watching backstage, so she knows now. Here's Danielle. Really? That's how you feel? I take care of your two kids while you work and sit on your ass and watch Netflix? Wait, really? You never want to do anything. You sit on your phone. You're lazy. You don't want to do nothing. What I dishes have you done? Huh? What dishes have you done? They've been piled up. You brought how many people you brought never do and they dirty all the dishes. They need all the food, huh? Do you get food stamps? No. Do you pay for anything? No. Listen I came home to the house clean. I came home to the kids dirty. You've You're a home. bad yeah. mother. Do you wake up at 5 a.m. to change your son and give him a bottle? No. Do you hold your son barely? No. I'm like, here, Corey, hold your son. Do you? No. Do you yell true. at your daughter 24-7? Yes, yes. Okay, exactly. Do you, you come home and you sit down, you don't want, you don't even say hi to your son when you walk in. You have not woke up with him one time since we, since I've had him. Is that true? I mean, really. And it is true, Jerry. I've it is what? very true. I've what? You have not woke up with him one time while I've been home. If I'm not home, maybe you wake up with him. But while I'm home, I wake up with him 24-7, every morning, all night long. What do you do? You sleep on the bed, don't you? While I wake up with him. And yes, I am irritated, because I take care of the kids. Thank you. I'm a damn good mom. A damn good mom. But that's why my son cries 24/7. Okay, but you say he cries 24/7. But do you get you up and show, cry? You don't show enough attention to my son. My son cries a lot. But the day that you go to work and I watch my son, I don't hear my son cry. I don't hear him him whining 24/7. My son is happy playing. I don't hear nothing from my son. Yeah, because when I'm around. You don't want to, you want nothing to do with him. Okay. I'm always around, always. All right. So yeah, when he is at, when he is happy with you, I say he's spending a still, little bit of time with you. Are you guys still intimate? Yes. Why? <laughs> I mean, if you, what I'm trying Good to question. understand is how much you really do care about each other. I do care about him, I really do. He's my everything. And do you care about her? Somewhat, but the, just the attitude needs to change. I've asked well, maybe if you time. weren't cheating all the time like you had oh, before. He does cheat all the time? He's cheated twice before. Oh. Probably more than that. More than that.
the reason I do is because you never let it go. The past is the past. You won't let it go, and you want to keep on accusing. Because so you don't admit to it when I got the proof in front of your face. In front of your face, Corey, I had the proof. Oh, no, that ain't me. That ain't me. I'm not cheating. That ain't my number, but it is your number. <laughs> Am I right? Has he ever played bediddle with you? No. <laughs> bediddle? Here's Deja. So you want to go play shrimp bediddle? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I listen to you argue with him. He tells yeah, me how he, he does. Yeah. He is. Look at you. Look at you. What? You're fat. You're ugly. And I don't care. I have two kids. I don't even do anything. You don't even do anything. I look damn good. I don't care what you say. Why are we here? Why are you here? Because he brought me on the show for some damn okay. reason. Okay, because you're not making him happy. Oh, well. Do some. <laughs> what? Okay, but why, you, why would you want to interfere? I mean, they have children. Let's say they have problems. Because that's their what? business that's if why. they have problems. Why not find someone other than? Because it was fun. I didn't care. It's not like I like him. It was fun. Is that we're we're I like you when you cheat on him just because like, they just can. Because you're. You're just, look at you. Well, look you're at you. You're a big player, huh? But look at yes. you. No one's talking to you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. Who if you were making him happy, we wouldn't be here. I don't care. Maybe he should have said something. Well, maybe you should listen. Well, maybe he shouldn't be, you know, go talk to all these other bitches on Snapchat and stuff. So you, you don't, don't know wanna, our history. You're saying you don't want to be with her? No, it's one time thing. And you don't want to be with her? No. Well, it, it just, from your point of view, it seems like a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. That you brought on yourself for a game of bediddle? You're not 10 <laughs> years old. So this is over? You're going to leave your kids? I'm not going to leave them. I'll, I'll fight for them. He's not going to leave his son, but he'll leave his daughter. Oh. Wow. Really? I'm, I'm going to oh. take one of my kids, at least. Leave her one, and I'll take one. You know, it's hard to find time to watch your favorite TV show, but now with the Nosy app on your mobile device or streaming on TV with Roku, Apple TV, or Fire TV, you can watch your favorite show anytime, anywhere. You'd be crazy not to. Here's Matt. <laughs> it's fucking it's great. Aria says her boyfriend makes her heartbeat since the day they met. Ooh. Aria, what's going on? Well, I'm a junior at Sac State University. Um, I am a math major right now. Oh, good for you. Wow. Um, I'm that, studying to be a mathematician. That and, is rare on yeah. our show. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I work at a coffee shop on campus. I'm a barista. Oh, great. And yeah. I, um, I actually just joined rugby because, you know, I'm a little bit shy and I just, I want to toughen up a little bit. And rugby will make you do that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That, that's cool. Good for you. Okay. And oh, so why are you here? Um, well, I actually don't know why I'm here, but um, I'm here with my boyfriend. We've been together for five years now. I, oh, I love wow. him. He's the love of my life. Yeah. yeah. You must have met him in high school. Yeah. Yeah. I was a sophomore. Yeah. So five years together. Mm -hmm. We. Um, How'd you meet? We met when we were auditioning to in Drumline. We both played the drums. Oh, you both played the yeah. drums? Yeah, okay. he was way better than me, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually um, certified, and he's a drum instructor. He's a drum Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's how you guys met. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you don't know why you're here? No. I don't either. Uh, but I'm glad you are. Uh, what's his name? Tuan? Yeah. Here is Tuan.
good. Very good. I'm actually dumping it out. You're dumping her? Why? Five years? Man, I just, you know, I actually just don't love her no more, man. <laughs> Why? You know, I just got bigger and better dreams right now, you know? I'm just trying to pursue this dream about going overseas and playing basketball and doing this drumline thing. We had the, you told me about your dreams. We're supposed to do them together. I, I wanted to support you. <laughs> Right now, I mean, I just don't need no support. I just want to do everything by myself. I'm sorry, I just, you know, I don't want to do it. And on top of that, I'm cheating on you with my friend Emelina. Oh. Emelina? Oh. Emelina? Yeah, see? From high school? Yeah. See, Ashley came and saw me teach, you know, drum line with the kids. And see, Ashley liked how I was teaching and she invited me over. So I came over and you I took my your, drumstick and she You started. showed her your drumstick? Yeah, she actually took it. She actually took it and then she started, you know, playing with it all sexy. You know, I like that kind of thing, you know? Turn me on, you know, I kissed her. She kissed me back and we just had sex. It just Amelina's her name? You We've know. been friends since high school. Oh. Here's Amelina. Why would you do this? You know. I don't know. Hey, you're Why? Fine. You know we live together. We he have a life together. No we have a life together. Then why is he coming to me? Bitch, you are so irrelevant. I he loves then, me. Okay, he like does I not give a about you. He then does why not care about you. I'm his main bitch. He he raised If you, you were his main bitch, why do he got a side bitch? Oh. You ain't nothing but a that would be that. And what does that make you? The dumb bitch, because you're still with him, right? You want to be with her? Oh, I don't want to be with her either. Oh. I just, like I said, I want to do my own little thing. She, you know, a little, a, little, a little play toy, you know, sign, sign for the moment. And I'm going to do my own little thing, okay. you know. I, I do my thing with the drum line. Like, I got all type of drum line groupies on me. So it's like, both of y'all is real on real. That could be on you. I got Both of you guys can go to hell. Thank you. Bye. All right. Me too. Five years that you so casually throw it away, though. I mean, it is what it is. Like, like I said, I just want to do my own little thing, and you know. But, but we could have done it together, Twan. See, together. That, that's what I don't. That's what I don't want. Yeah, it's the whininess. She's clingy. She she does this all the time. If I want to go out with my friends, you you gotta come to me. You gotta want to go with me. And sometimes I just want to do my own little thing and stuff like that. It just add on to 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 what I'm to what I'm trying to do, and things like that. What I'm trying to do is I need to do things on my own, and not without you. Not with you. You know what I'm saying? How could you just throw away five years? Five years together, Twan. How old are you? I'm 21. That's why. <laughs> and I mean, I don't mean to sound smart about it, because I know it, it, it really does hurt you, but he's just 21. And for the years that you've known him, he's been a teenager. Finding a guy that's a teenager that is ready as a teenager to say, this is who I'm spending the rest of my life with, it's very, very, very rare. Uh, by the way, I should tell you, we have a whole bunch of students here today from Yale University. Ooh. All that education ruined in one show. Okay. My question's for the grizzly bear cub over there. Do you really think you can take this 6'3", dude? Because I want to oh, see yeah, it. Of course. Of course. Uh, my question's for the guy in the maroon. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's making you dinner. I think she's just eating it before you get home. Oh. Says the one oh, talking. You are, bro. Right. You put a you, ball on your head and cut your hair. My dinner. You put a That's ball on my head and cut your hair. All right, all right. 
My question's for the dude in the maroon in the front. Did you have to learn banjo to be in deliverance, or did they teach you? Hi, my question's for the guy in the maroon. Uh, just wanted to know, uh, with the little piddle game thing, whatever, was the sex better, or was the Taco Bell after better? <laughs> Uh, my comments for the little drummer boy, I got news for you, man. You keep treating women the way that you do. That drum of yours is not going to be the only thing you're going to be beating by yourself tonight. Okay, my question is for, like, the girl with, like, the sparkly red shirt. You called her a dumb bitch for staying with him, but... You're the one that got used, so who's the dumb bitch now? Um, that's okay. So it don't matter, bitch. I mean, you can meet me right here. Thank you. We just want our Jerry D. My comments to my man's Darrell up there. If you can make a basketball shot like you take a smack to the face, you'd be in the league, baby. <laughs> Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back with Jerry's final thought.